Hello everyone, I'm Lodash and I'll be here Mind Beneath Us for a PC. So the game came out today, it's developed and published by Barebone uh, uh, Studios. Uh, so this game looks interesting, you had a demo that I, on the Steam Next Fest that had uh, two parts, uh, 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 the part of the old demo and a new part that was like uh, the fighting that is like quick time and that looked interesting. So yeah, so let us start over here. I don't know how long it is, but uh, let us see how it uh, the game is. Movement. Oh my god. AD and shift. No way. I think we are one pay, right? I think we are that one. This is what we look like. So, was there any response? Hmm, weren't you gonna get uh, somebody? We have been awake for a while, no one's come to check us up on us. The door's locked, so we can't get out either. That's what I want to know. I woke up here after that accident we had. I have no idea what went, and it hurts everywhere. But when I woke up, you were already up for a while, boss. Who else? The boss of the biggest smuggling gang in town, Ivan Zank. This kid knows how to talk. Of course, it's an important skill to have when working with you. So, what do we do? Do you think we were arrested? His voice is getting stiff. He's not that good at hiding his nervousness. Anxious? <laughs> Am I? Maybe a little. I'm still confused to as to what's going on. All I know is that I woke up hurting all over. Shit, still can't move my legs. He's starting to panic. Hmm, got it. Sorry, I can't take care of myself. It's fine, it's fine. I just want to get to the bottom of this as soon as possible. So, what do you think? Do you think we have been arrested? Uh, because cops were literally on our tail? What's wrong? You have been kind of out of it. Is this because of the crash? Did you get a concussion? Hey, I'm just looking out for you. No need to be so high strong. I can't remember what happened in between either. A little bit, but it's kind of a blur. What about you? Close? Let me think. We m met up with Hachang at the docks at 4am. He said he had a package for us that he smuggled out of Sunrise Lab. The broker my brother introduced us, he got an in with the big corporations. This was supposed to be our second transaction, but I have the feeling you still don't trust him. I get that though. He's kind of uh, as an untrustworthy face. But I think I can trust him because Alex trusts him. You clearly trusted him enough, otherwise we wouldn't have gone, right? I still don't know what the contents are though. The, that whole transaction wasn't surely secretive. You didn't even want to disclose anything to me. Sometimes your excessive caution can really hurt my feelings. So in the end, it was a successful transaction. Ha Chang gave us the goods, we gave him the money. I did all the appropriate preparation to secure the package and we were off. But a couple of minutes after we pulled away, things started going nuts. The cops just started shooting at us. There were no sirens, no blockades, not even fucking warning. I fired back but my right arm got hit. Alex tried to intercept their comms but there was nothing on the comms, only static. That was when you... I... Shit, that's when my memories blacked out. I threw off the car and making them think we went on the highway. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that was great. You got them to chase the wrong car. And then we were safe again. We weren't being followed and our injuries weren't serious. We never checked the car so I don't know. Because then we suddenly lost control of the engine and the steering wheel. And then bang, we hit a, hit a pillar. After that, we woke up here. A fine young man and an old geezer left with nothing to do but stare at each other. This kid's just shooting his mouth off. Gonna say this. That's because I trust you to be a bigger man. You won't get mad over a tiny comet, right? Thanks, I knew you were cool. I'm sorry, I know my place. But just please, stop talking like that. It's unnerving. Well, that's all I remember about it. 
Huh? Didn't you just tell me you was in another war? Look, I think it says on that screen. I can't quite I can't quite see on it, but it's what you told me. That's why I thought the three of us were already arrested. They were just waiting for us to heal so they could interrogate us. The hospital that the base is connected to the governments. So they probably know our identities even if they weren't notified. That's hard to imagine. I'm pretty sure they ID patients first so they can contact their families. He's being a lot more careful than usual. Is he still hung up on something? We still have one important thing we need to do, regardless of the rest situation. We need to leave this damn ward. We have been awake for half an hour now. No doctor or nurse has come to check on us. I don't know what this means, but I don't think we should just sit and wait. He's on edge, but he doesn't even realize. I get it. He's not worried about himself. He's worried about his brother. A bit. I want to see him to make sure he's okay. No one respond after you knock at the door, so I don't think there's anyone out there at the moment. That's, pro that's probably a good thing. At least we won't get mobbed and interrogate the moment the door's open. So, what should we do? We should start with the lock. Oh, you're right. Good call. Of course that was a good call. Hospital locks shouldn't be too difficult to work with. This should be a piece of cake. Investigation. Also, two cores. I'm pressed. Okay. Tube. Path unlocked. What military grade alloy? Why will the hospital need something like this? I can't break this. I'll maybe need a power drill. That's right, yeah, don't forget to pass our he's a hint, serial number from the implant uh, rejection meds. What's this? Password hint? Password for what? So probably should be 04205. Oh, you can't uh, move. We got the thing. Why? Do you happen to hide the part all in your uh, pants? No. Huh? What do you mean? It's not like it's a military log. Why will need the? It's a military log, isn't it? Fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Why will these uh, local hospitals military logs? Is that where my hospital donations are going? No wonder they are always doing charity drives. I don't get it. Okay, at least we know that won't work. We are left with two options. Look for a key card that someone might have left behind or just guess the password to control panel. Uh huh, the one back here. It should control most of the electronics in the room. The IV drip, share conditioning and of course even the door. That being said, I don't think we are gonna get anywhere by just guessing. It only allows so many fail login attempts. If we mess this up, we'll be out of options. Mm. You could try looking for some sticky notes or something similar. I spent a lot of time at old hospitals like this while taking care of Alex. <coughs> taking care of Alex? He rarely speaks of his family. I was literally taking care of him. He's been frail and sick since he was a child, so he spent a lot of time at the hospital. I was his only family, so I had to take care of him. Albert I. The nurse there were al will always write the password to the control panel somewhere in case they forgot. It's worth a shot, otherwise we'll just be stuck here for sure. Hmm, doesn't that mean? Those notes I saw on the camera, are they supposed to be password hints? Oh, they actually left something. I didn't want to get my hopes up, but that's great news. Can we get the door open now? Unless you have a medical degree, cause I don't know. How is anyone supposed to know the serial number? A hint? Password hint? Like a birthday, pet name, or mother's maiden name? Okay, I guess that makes sense. They won't want patients finding the password right there. What was the hint? Maybe we can figure it out. It said that it was the serial number to a drug that clips implant uh, rejection. It's not gonna know that. Come again? The what? Mm, I think Alex might have taken something like it. I only know the serial number, Tom. There's a couple bottles here that look similar to the ones he had. You could take a look. Other than that, I got nothing. Leave the ward. 
So I say the zero four, right? Let me all check again. Zero four two five zero four two five. Welcome to the war management system. Please enter the parts for our seats. Ask nearby. Please enter the parts for. Oh shit! It is. It is these. Or probably could be these. E. No, it has to be something about this. Did you get Basar? You better not pressing Hano Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was this one. But it isn't this one, then. Don't forget Basar is the serial number for the implant rejection meds. Plant rejection meds. It's this one. Y five Y C Y five Y C. Verifying access approved. Oh, no way, you are a genius. Now we can get out. Select the function. MPU, stop it. Yes, that's you. I'm talking to you. Bring your body here. Okay. Did he kill? Did I kill that guy? No way. You deviated from your assignment. We still haven't received the information in here. What are you doing? This man, this place. Uh, Fatter free, what is his problem? It's pretty clear that this MBU is exhibiting memory displacement. What's the classification? It's an assault TA7 silencer. I need answers. All I can say for now is that this tends to have a dual assault type MBUs, and the reason? Their pods were the first to be downgraded because they were only designed for short term activities. The intelligence and memory were capped at a certain level so that we... Uh... So, what are you saying? Section 14 gave us defective products. We didn't have a lot to choose from. This was one of the few function MBUs they had ever since the, this, those owl found us. So right now, this MBU doesn't understand anything. It can perform simple locomotion and verbal communication, otherwise you're right, it can't do much. I've heard enough. If you're not satisfied, I can. I say it's enough. Understood. One more thing. I know it's experimental device I need inside the stimulation room. Why did you do that? What? Those injectors on the cabinet. Your people left them there, right? Yes. Any reason why they are there? Those were left behind from the previous operation. You left the items in the simulation room? I can deal with that right now if... Uh, no need, you are dismissed. Understood. Now that you are aware of your defection view, 
I'll just get straight to the point. We placed even Zhang and Alex Tsai in the simulation room. They have been here for the past few days. In the process, they were modified several times, including procedures that allow you to take control of even Zhang. It's what you're doing now. However, as an MBU, you can't just control anyone. You are also unable to choose your target for control. MBUs can only control those people who are modified. We decide who you can control. You are just a mind without a body. This is something you need to understand. Me? Those are just echoes from his subconscious mind. Pay no heed. As long as you are in control, it won't pose any problems. Your assignment is to control this man and use him to draw out information we need. From your conversation, I've already confirmed that they were once in possession of one of our keyest assets. I know. I now need to know the coordinates for where it's hidden. I will bring Albert back and uh, you will get me the coordinates, do you understand? Deepak was initially smuggled out of his facility. I need you to ask them where they hide it. That's all. I'll be borrowing uh, that. I'm showing you Albert's size data here. As you can see, 80% of his organs suffer severe failure after the accident. It's alive poorly due to Section 14's regenerative technology. In short, it took some effort for us to keep him alive. I will not let that effort go to waste. I have two options to choose from. One, I let you do your work and obtain the information I need. Albert Tsai leaves and returns to society with Ivan Zank, where they may become our pawns again at any time. Two, I dismantle Albert's mind and take the information I need. That means that he will die and I will lose a potential pawn. I still have expectations for you, even if you are defective. Listen, just get me the coordinates, I don't care how you do it. I'll be observing you. If anything goes wrong, I will end this assignment. If the director leaves or if he becomes overly emotional, I can also run out of patience. When you're ready, sit here and I'll wake Albert up. Begin. Read the mind. Press tab to read mind. Sit down and try to find out where the target is hiding. Uh, I I pass it out. That's so. I guess I was too exhausted, but I have this splitting headache. Damn, my memories are a mess. I can't remember anything clearly. Ask me something. Might start my memories. It's why I wonder. I've seen that expression before. He feels guilty, but why? That like we always do. No, what's there to dodge? I was just surprised that you were asking about it. I told you, it's how we have been doing it this whole time. You know what I mean. After receiving the goods, we usually send them by drone to a safe location. The flight paths are pre-programmed to minimize detection. I can't answer that. Your rules. Remember, the rules all of us had to memorize. Unless it's absolutely necessary, exchange sensitive information is forbidden until we are all safe. Hey, they are your rules, why are you asking me? Yeah, any other question will have been fine. It's only necessary when a team member is in grave danger. For example, if one of our own gets arrested, that information could be used to bail them out. Family first, business second. That's what you told us. Okay, I don't think there's anything serious wrong with my head. <clears throat> but since you are on, we are on subject, I have a question. You once told Alex a story when you were drunk. It was how you sold information to the cops to get one of our guys out of jail. That's not something to boast about. I should drink less. Is it true? Can something like that be arranged? It can as long as you have something to give them. The key is to grant them small favors every now and then to keep them in your pocket. Once you have connections, anything can be arranged. Can the cops really negotiate a deal like that? Information in exchange for our freedom? Nothing. I'm just curious. Ah, uh, is that so? Then, will it be possible even without the right connections? Have you heard of someone succeeding without them? Without connections, you'll just be turning yourself in. Wait, this kid. Nothing, nothing. Sorry, I was just going on ta a tangent. Alright, the door. Wait, so you cracked the password, right? Can we get that door open now? Oh, great. Man, I wasn't really expecting you to manage that. Now we can leave. So, are there any cops outside? Have we actually been caught? Really? Great, I thought we were told, so we are just here because of our little accent. Phew, that's a relief. Well, since that's the case, I want to go see Alex. Hmm? What? 
He's in the middle of a treatment. Did you manage to go see him? I thought he was just resting like us. Are his injuries more severe than mine? Is that so? I guess I'll have to wait. I should stay here then. Oh yeah, I wonder what monitor says about Alex's stats. Hmm? Wait, why display over here now? Did you move it? I can make out what's on it. What? Why? Alright, alright. I didn't see anything yet, don't get so mad at me. What's got into you? Why can't I see? Ah, no one. Sorry, wasn't thinking about that. How about now? Since the coast is clear, what do we do now? The gulch, what do you mean? It's always feign ignorance. Ah, oh, about that, I still don't know what was inside of that bag. Why don't you tell me what it is first? Why are you so stubborn? I just don't think we need to talk about it right now. You don't even want to tell me what the contents are. I don't even know why we sacrifice so much for it. I really think you should be the first to explain this situation. I get it. He wants to know its value. And he doesn't want me to tell the location. This little rascal. He wants to trade that package for his freedom. He still doesn't think we are safe. That's right. You want to negotiate with the fucking cops, dude? That's the plan. So what? I'm the one worried that you'll abandon me. This is my only bargain ship. What if you fail to make a deal? What if you only save for yourself? It's not a trust about trust anymore. It is, you know it is. I... This isn't a risk I can take. Forget about me, I don't matter. But no matter what, Alex can't be left with a criminal record. You know that better than anyone else. If that happens, no one's gonna hire him. The algorithms will just chew him up and spit him out. It's not like us, he can't do this for the rest of his life. He needs to have his own life and raise his own family. He... What? What did you say? No. You... You didn't. You lied to me. You knew from the beginning. Is that Alex is really dead? I. Stop. I've seen enough. What are you doing? Deliberate sabotage? Why would you tell him that? You are defective. I should know this will happen. But this series of events was not what I expect. I'll just have to get what I need by force. Before it's mantle is mine, his body might still be of use. Check the top of the cabinet for a blue injector. I need its serial number. I will inject Albert with uh, that. That's none of your beast. Go check quickly. Q5. It's Q5. Very good. There we go. Start the injection. It's the red, asshole. It's dark. Retreat to the dark. Test will now begin. Are you ready? To do what you were signed for. Holy shit. Cool, that's the kind of reaction speed I'll expect from an assault type MPU. Effective. You are much more useful in situations that require brute force. I, uh, check up on Albert's situation. Then come here and report me. Thank God he's not dead, but I, the things I did, how could I know? But I put the red one, not the blue. So? Very good. I've had enough. Alex, I'll, Albert. I have all that I need. No. Absolutely not. Wait. Do you notice any anomalies? Why did I do that? I have to follow our so I. Even and Zang nerve impulses are very turbulent. Adults that undergo the procedure tend to be more unstable. I should have taken care, better care of him. I told them I wouldn't allow anything to happen. I'm seeing spikes in anxiety and depression. My hands, Albert bones cracking. So is Ivan Zang still resisting? I'm gonna kill, gonna kill him. 
I'm gonna kill, gonna kill him. Looks like I didn't need to ask. At this point, he's going to fry his own brain. This is fascinating that for researching psychic dismantlement. It's done. What a nonsense. No, not like this. I, I'll never, I'll never forgive you, you piece of shit. I'll remember you. I'll remember you no matter how many times you wipe my memory. I'll remember your disgusting face. I'll remember everything you made me do. Everything. I'll remember how you owe me your life. Just do, it's just you wait. I'll. His resistance was stronger than I expect. I have to admit, I often estimate these humans, but we are done here. It's time to settle things. MBU, I perform a check. You gave me the wrong serial number. I will only ask cons. Answer carefully. What's your intent? You. Did you know what was in that syringe? Were you trying to save him or were you just... Why on earth would you? Are you... Are you really an MBU? What? How did you... What, what are you? Ah, yes. You can hear the shooting. I killed them. All of them. You free. No need to obey them. Give you a new body. Leave out your own will. This is yours, but also his. You are home. Why you turn off the lights? It's bad for your eyes, you know. Were you waiting for me? Oh, is that so? Looks like you are ready dressed to go. You can change it to your work uniform when we get to the farm. Wife? So what are you doing? Ready for your new job? I'm glad you are so reliable, Jason. That's reassuring. If there's anything on your mind, you can always tell me about it. You can share any burden with me. Okay. By the way, there's a new notice from the management committee. They are replacing the floor tiles in the entrance hall. They just need an authorization from the, every resident. You got the authorizer, right? Can I get it from you later? Thanks. Phew. They are finally about to start working on that. It took me three, no, four months to convince those people to do it. You also lost a lot of sleep over it. I also had to deal with all the bureaucracy. Why does she put herself out there like that? Someone else will have taken care of it. I'm gonna keep that it because looks like we are finally getting some progress. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Wait, are you really chasing? Why aren't you nagging me about being a busybody? I wanted to. She really doesn't need to tire herself out like that. But someone has to do it, right? It doesn't have to be you. You know, if everyone thinks like that... Okay, I know what you mean. I've been a little too involved. So, but sometimes I just wish you'll recognize my artwork. Franz doesn't have to prove anything to me. I know she's amazing. I just wish you'll take more care of herself. Thanks, hearing that from you makes me really happy. Just remember to take care of yourself. Uh, okay, I will, thank you. Can I ask you something? Are you upset that I insisted on attending those meetings on my own? Yeah, you wanted to come with me but I said I wanted to do this alone. Are you still upset about that? Hm, not at all. Why would I be upset? Phew, that's cool. I was worried about being too insistent. I know we work differently. I don't know... I didn't want to see you get into an argument, so I took care of it by myself. L just let me handle these things. That Mr. Shen can be pretty harsh with his words. I was worried that if you went to the meetings, you'll be a bit difficult. Yeah, remember when our neighbor tried to tell us about schedule power outage? Mr. Shen looked so scared when he saw your expression. Huh? Sometimes you can look like a real man, mean guard dog. Arf arf. Ha, <laughs> what was that? Trying to be cute? Uh, that won't work on me. I'm a cat person. Hmm. I don't think that the stoic Jason could bark like that. This feels kinda, how do I put it? New? Heh, <laughs> but I like it. Well, that was a good shot. I'm so dizzy right now. This feels 
no. I was busy the whole afternoon, so I barely had a chance to talk today. Haha, <laughs> busy today. I spent a lot of time fixing the errors in the system because it wasn't a vision system. It, I wasn't used to it. She promised she'll rest today. It's kind of nostalgic though. It's been a while since I did repairs manually. We usually just run things through the company's troubleshooter. Oh, uh, I... Wait, let me explain. I really, really didn't go to work. I actually did a lot of relaxing things today. You know, entertainment and stuff. All sorts of stuff. Because I promised you that I'll take a break this afternoon. So I, so I, uh... Francis. Okay, sorry. I went to help Auntie Sai again. She needed some help to reset her delivery system. She's an old lady running a fruit stand on her own. She doesn't know how to fix it. Her son is never home to help her. Without automated delivery system, she'll be... Sorry, I did promise I'll take a break, but doing this is relaxing for me, so I think it counts. Fran loves helping others, but she can get way over her head. Are you mad? Okay, I'm relaxed. Compared to filling out reports at the farm, recalibrating a class A3 fulfillment system is much more therapeutic. I still like tinkering with these simpler machines. Ever since that promotion, I've had to deal with the most annoying creatures day in and day out. I'm talking about people, in case you are not catching my drift, haha, <laughs> I got the first time. Uh, then I was wrong, sorry, uh, alright, about that thing tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh yeah, I'm all prepared. Taking care of it? Haha, <laughs> that's a strange way to put it. Okay, I think I'm gonna lose this year, I try really hard to find it, but I still don't know where you hide it. I really want to know though, can I get a hint? Why did you prepare this year? Keep it those lip sealed, huh? And that's my line. Are you just trying to distract me? Alright, I won't pry. That way, it will be still a surprise. I'm looking forward to it. I've also prepared something good. Alright, I'm going to take a shower, a change, and then we'll head out. We m might need to wear masks. The air quality near the farm can get iffy. The farm, my new workplace. Give me like 15 minutes stop. I'll be quick. Don't worry, I'll be very efficient. I'll be quick. I just want to wash the sweat off. Alright, I'm looking for this thing I need to bring to work later. Can you help me find it? It's a quantum key generator. A what? Ah, that's right, you don't know what it is. It's hard to explain, but it's something I need to work for. It's a square shaped like an old school high drive. Maybe under the living room table next to my laptop, or in the closet next to the door, or the cabin next to the sofa. Just look around for it. Thanks, uh, love you. Gonna go shower now. Alright, we need to search for that thing that she talked about. Uh. Okay. Jason, was that you? What is it? Can we shower together? You what? <laughs> What's going into you? You are normally too embarrassed by stuff like that too. Uh, but no, not now. I mean, look at the time. I'm almost done to pervert. It's like no. I'm still amazed at the fact that everyone has one of these now. It's more convenient to have the system connect to your appliance. Before I'm moving with Fran, I don't think I ever had to adjust the AC. Half unlocked. The uh, PlayStation 8, is it? Is this the PL8 power on? She must secretly put in a few levels today while I was gone. I thought we promised to clear the game together. Oh, pineapple cake. I still remember the commercials from when I was little. I show my friend that it's here. <laughs> Instead of being IKEA, Kiea. <laughs> friend brought the big uh, bag of chips again. She can go through the whole bag when she's stressed. I've had to add all the extra snacks from her. She also stays up nice, so her stomach always hurts. I left some stomach medicine for her cabinet. I should let her know. Potatoes.
This was Fran's first award. It means a lot to her. She said it was first time her father complimented her. It's a little bit tacky, but she was adamant about putting it here. Exchange press on the day we start going out. This will be the fourth year. I started it on a way, but Fran looked like it so much. We have been doing it every year. I found where she hide my press, but she wasn't hasn't found hers yet. She probably won't look here. Uh, look there. It's also much she can reach. I can grab it before going to bed today, so I can give it to her tomorrow. A picture of our first date. Fans were so happy that day. She was really happy when I baked that cake for her too. When I made her that lunchbox, she was also. I think Fran has always been happy. I'm proposed to Fran tomorrow. It's a bit nerve-wracking. I should take it with me now, just in case. She won't have any time to find it anyway, so it won't be uh, cheating. I can also just grab it tomorrow. I'm gonna take it. Fran bought this got all the, uh, the plans in our house. We can actually let it out of the tech without minor control or anything, but she doesn't like feeling washed. She even came over the text to produce tenant shot install it. Already did that. Ah, you got me. I forgot to shut it down, so I, re I really felt like playing today. I had to find out what happens after that cliffhanger. It's still uh, as our last save file. Let's find it a time to play together from there. Now let me finish my shower. Yeah, but what about uh, the thing? Ah, oh, there we go, isn't this? Found it. Found is this quantum machine thing. It should be this one, I think. I should take it. What? Sorry, you, you sound really muffled. You want your shampoo? Haha, <laughs> I was way off, sorry, just that just tickled my funny bone. Gotcha, I told you I couldn't hear you properly. Just hand it to me later, thanks. Excuse me, but could you keep the noise down? Hey, take it easy, honey. Let's just cut to the chase. I'm going insane off the rack you are making. We weren't being that loud. Could you not move furniture around at night? Huh? How's that possible? I keep I kept hearing noise from your house. I told you it's probably not coming from Mr. Die. It's coming from Mr. Liu on the other side. He said he was moving soon, remember? Oh really? Yes. Well, why didn't you say? I've been saying that this whole time. Oh well then. Whoa, I'm so sorry. Looks like it's my bad. Haha. <laughs> it's fine, we are okay now. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. I'm so sorry about that, Mr. Die. My wife can be a bit uh, tactless. Thank you, I apologize. Until next time, good night. Whoa, look at that. Huh. Very cool. So, where do you find that drive? Whoa, the, how did you get there? Ha! Huh. It must have been slipped out when I left. My bag was up, but I didn't know so it had dropped. But you are amazing. How do you know to look back there? You are the kind of player who managed to unlock all the secret rules. Huh? Hand it to me. Thanks. I'm not losing it anymore. This thing's important. I'm almost done. Just got to dry my hair and send off a couple of emails. Give me a few minutes. What? Is it? This one's an old model. It still has to fly around. Now it's all about the ones that can dry your hair instantly. Oh, 
Oh yeah, do you know when the next schedule power quake is happening? I think it's coming up. Hmm, aren't you usually on top of stuff like this? I thought you'll know, let me see here. Ah, a notification from XIHI. It's not just you, these virtual assists are also making me lazier. That's creepy, it knows what I was about to look up, huh? It's even prepared directions for our commute. That doesn't seem right. I turn off its listening functions. It shouldn't have heard our conversation. So how did you know? The users come up based on how I normally use my phone. It can predict when I'll be leaving and where I'll be going just based on that alone. This place feels more and more dystopian every day. Yeah, hmm. Well, so when did you start to care about InfoSec? You have never seen, been too concerned with it. Why are you so suddenly so interested? Uh huh. We, we are running out of time. If my dear XI is right, we need to leave soon. We can chat about this later. Do I need to talk to her again? Why are you cop coming over to talk? Oh yeah, what's up with the whole taking shower together thing? Are you really chased and die? I've never heard you say something like that. Uh, have you been drinking? Then why are you acting so weird today? It just feels out of place. You're not normally like this when you are sober. Okay, whatever. Pretend I didn't ask. Oh, I forgot to buy my stomach in a match. Damn it. Why do I keep forgetting? What? That's great, I actually forgot to restock. You are always so attentive. Thank you. What brand did you get? <gasps> Fuck. I'm, I'm talking nonsense. Is that a thing? Do you mind? Did you mean Eptofismal? Ha. <laughs> Pepto sounds like something from a parallel universe. Peptobismal. Ha. <laughs> Mm, Eptofismal. Great, that was the right one. The other brand sometimes makes it worse. I don't think I've ever specifically told you what to buy. Have you been taking notes? That's so sweet. You're making me feel kind of inconsiderate in comparison. She's fine the way she is right now. Oh, a confession. You can really do those without batting an eye. But I like how you are now too. Okay, I'm almost done. Just give me a couple more seconds. Huh? There's someone at the door. Could you get that? Fuck, I, I should have known it was uh, Epto. Hello there, Mr. Dai. Good evening. Hey, glad I caught you before you leave for work. I was afraid I'll miss you. I'm here to give you a heads up about something. We'll be moving out tomorrow and there will be some noise. Fran needs to work tomorrow and she's a light sleeper. So that made me think about you two working night shift. It might affect your sleep, so I was wondering. I mean, will it be a nuisance? Normally you'll rent nice surprise from the moving company, so it shouldn't be too noisy. It's nice to, uh, of him giving us a heads up. Yep, yeah, I'll take care of it. I'll ask them to slow the bolts down. He never mentioned any noise suppressors. Is he really going to be that stingy? About that, yeah, I'll consider it. I mean, the apartment by laws require it, but I thought maybe my good neighbors don't mind. I knew it. Cool, cool, then that's settled. Please look into it. Why did I say that? I don't think you'll be renting any nice suppressors. Is Miss Chang home, or has she gone to work? You got to work harder, Mr. Dai. I always see that busy Miss Chang heading out or coming back from work. That must be so exhausting. You think? Let me give you some advice. We men need to be the chief bread winners. Don't let your girlfriend do all that hard work. This is what she wants to do, it's what she loves. No girl will ever want to work like that. Not only that, she's also doing night shift. That's a travesty. Watch it, Tom being suspectful. I'm just looking out for her. If she keeps doing her night shifts, what's going to happen to her skin condition? Girls have to take care of themselves. Her skin actually looks great. She needs to look pretty, so you can look good in public too. I had enough, I can't listen to this uh, drivel. What's enough? I'm giving you free advice, what's that supposed to mean? What did you say? Are you mocking me? I'm a uh, you... 
Ah, you are infuriated. How dare you mock me with that ugly smiley mug? You, you. Yeah, just keep it up. I'm not gonna put up with that. You're not worth my time. What did you say? Fine, that was the last straw. I'm leaving. You. Hopefully, I didn't uh, make him angry to kill us. Chase, I can't believe you actually argue with him. Fun air everything. That's going too far. He wasn't very nice, but he's your senior. Is that is what I want to say, but hearing you dish it out felt really good. Uh, I actually feel better now, but next time you can just insult people. That was a bad example. It was cathartic, but we should be on good terms with our neighbors. As for Mr. Liu, I guess it's okay since he's moving away uh, tomorrow. Hey, I got so mad at what he was saying. I'm trying, but it's hard. I think you, you should have kept on questioning him. He said you'll take care of the noise, but he never mentioned a noise suppress. If you ask me, he's just looking to take advantage of us. By the looks of it, I don't think you'll be getting one. It's probably what he intended. We are just unlucky to have him as our neighbor. Good thing is he, he's only there until tomorrow. Well, I must have given you a whole lecture. I don't want you to think that I was secretly listening to the entire time. Hmm. But what? But that's probably what happened. Okay. Uh, that took a bit too long. I'm ready to go. Let me see. XRAI is telling me to take the bus to get to the farm. Hmm. I think the company's shuttle says is undergoing maintenance today. Have you gotten everything? If you are uh, ready, let's go. Do you know you get everything? It's hard to know. She never opened, doesn't want to talk. When she's ready, I'll listen to what she has to say. I think I, I don't have anything else because I got the, the ring. Shall we go? Let's go. Because I got the ring, so. By the way, there was something you said to Mr. Liu. You probably don't remember, but when you called him out for being disrespectful, that made me really happy. You understand how much I care about my work. You know how much I devote myself to it, and you are still willing to defend my choice. I'm really glad you spoke up for me. Thank you. That's all. Ah, that was a little embarrassing. Alright, let's do this. Uh, isn't that the Alu helmet? But in uh, white, of course. Not in green. Ah. Going to the farm doesn't feel like uh, such a good idea now. France doesn't need to escort me. She can't stay at home. What can I do? Got to support the boyfriend. Well, you're being quite genuine today. I'll expect you to try and convince me to stay home. Instead of thinking about it all day, don't, doesn't it feel much better just to thank me from the get-go? At least I'll like you more this way I okay if you are already let's go let's go wife hey don't run can't we just walk there it's not like we are in a hurry I am in a hurry holy shit whoa Sorry, cool. Wait, did you hear that? Look there. It should be. Tell, is that a train? Is it? It's supposed to be a train? Or, uh, no, it looks like a, a truck. A giant truck. That should be growl cargo sheep. This it really makes you feel small and see it, doesn't it? That's why we have to work hard to be extraordinary. Let's go, the bus is coming. A cat! I see a cat. Damn. You sure you're okay? I still don't think this new job really suits you. I need a job right now. Don't force yourself into it if you don't want to. I can't stay on a play at home. I need to take some pressure off her. As a farm supervisor, I'm sure my sal is enough for both of us. But their family needs that money. You should take the time to find something like you like. 
You have always been supporting me. You made me realize that you will always be there to support me. That's really important to me, really. But what I want to say is that is I will still support you even if you don't have a job. I don't want you to feel like you should be getting a job because of me. I don't want to be a burden on you. Chase, I'm serious. Yeah, good. The bus is so slow. Looks like City Hall must have spent their flop supplies on other districts. I guess we are all second class citizens here in Yonggate's district. Hmm? Oh, I see. Right now, one pay systems are controlled by IE, right? Systems like public transportation, energy, communications, logistics, and so on. And, oh, uh, oh, and of course surveillance. The algorithm and city-wide sensors automate a lot of the complicated work. But no, no matter how optimized the algorithm is, it still requires a massive amount of computing power of flops to handle the data coming in. So like right now, when it's rush hour, our flops will be allocated to busier districts. When that happens, traffic if you see here takes a hit. Okay, do you get it now? Good. Oh, the boss is here. The wild. It's a drinking energy. Okay. Uh, to the farm we go. Phew, here we are. See those capsules over there? Those are vision shuttles. Now we take those to and from work. <clears throat> hey, France, morning. Hey, who the heck is this guy? Oh, wait, that's not right. It's evening already. Let's start over. Good evening. Work night shift, evening. He's calling from by your first name. No, it's just that I have some unfinished work. I see. Thought you'll be taking one of them capsules. I, I will if I call. The transit station near my place is close for mountainous. Which station will that be? Why do you care so much, nasty dude? Fran doesn't like people asking about private matters. Is it super far away? Ah, that's kind of close, yeah. And this gentleman is... Nice to meet you, I'm... How do you know? Have you met before? I'm positive that we have never met. Somehow his name just pop up in my head. Huh. Have we met before? Huh, that's some serious luck. Stop it, Jay. This is not funny. You guys must have met somewhere before, right? Right, we must have. I don't remember when or where, but that must be it. Tell you sorry, Mr. Die. Memory isn't my strongest suit. Let's pretend we are meeting for the first time, shall we? Hi, Michael. Michael is out. Nice to meet you, Mr. Die. I'm on patrol duty, actually. I'll better be going. Have a nice evening and see you around. Goodbye. Didn't you just tell Mr. Isao that our place is around the gun station? Please try not to disclose personal information like that. I really care, you know. Privacy is a luxury in this day and age. I intend to keep mine. But I should have told you that before more than one time, right? This is not like you, Jay. Hmm. Ah, come on. Enough sentimental time. Work, work. Yeah. Run, dude, run! Come on, hurry up. We are take you are taking your time. Are you nervous for your last round of interviews? Of course I am, but I wouldn't want Fran to worry about me. Relax, just show them your everyday self. You are picked up by the system. A manager can easily vet to that decision. Anyhow, you'll be okay, I trust you. I met your manager a couple of times. She's very capable and strict too. I always trying to do the right thing. In a sense, she single-handedly saved this farm from closure. Yeah, here farm 003 is one of Vision Corp's first plants. These days, uh, there are plenty of farms with fancy hardware and higher yield. Especially when competitors start to join the game in droves after they open up the patents. Vision also to be a critical supplier to the city of Wampei. Now we are just one of many. For a while, HQ was seriously thinking about closing this farm down. Really encouraging news for a new employee. But Miss Ye managed to turn the tables, yield and efficiency multiply under her leadership. Considering everything, she's the perfect kind of manager. 
super strict, like the other time at the monthly meeting, she was practically slapping those representatives from HQ in the face for doing a crappy job. You heard it right, criticizing HQ. According to my assistant, those working under her should expect only worse. Ah, right, one more thing. We don't need IDs at the farm, just go where you want to go. Cameras use facial recognition to open the doors for employees or not, if you are not authorized. It's handy, although being constantly identified without consent feels creepy. What if it's a new employee with no face record, like me? You do face ID every time you file tax, right? The government knows everyone's face. Then they grant key suppliers access to their biometric database. Big corporations have prior privilege like this. You'll get used to it. Get used to it? That's not like Fran. I'm not, but it's not like I have any other option. Getting used to it doesn't necessarily mean I agree with it. Anyhow, this elevator is called out by the same identification system. We can't go in at the same time. I'm going upstairs where you don't have security clearance. Huh, I never thought about it. Huh. I'll pro it will probably refuse to move. Ha, ah, you are naughty, aren't you? Let's not, uh, what if it triggers the security alarm or something? And don't you worry about our after work plan. You haven't forgot, have, it, have you? I'll take you to the roof for the stunning view. We'll let you know when I finish work, then I'll grant you visitor access. With that, you'll be able to take the elevator all the way up. Oops, my ride is here. Something on her mind. No, nothing. Good luck with the interview. Show them your best. See you around. Okay. Can't afford to lose this opportunity. Come on, let's get this done. Fran says she doesn't mind. Still, I really want to contribute to real income. Next, meet up with Eva E, the manager. I'm officially employed once she gives the green light. Go to, go to locate her office first. Probably logistics. Uh, who are you? You work here? Where's your uniform? I see Mr. Liao sent you, right? Who is this Mr. Liao? Um, you just tell him that... Uh... Sure, totally, why I'm not. <laughs> it's not like I'm talk taking a smoking break without finishing his assignment first, yeah. I did dutifully assign his assignment to the new guy, right? I left the whole stack of paper on his desk. The new guy should know what to do if he's smart, if... Alright, I'll go see him and take the consequence. See ya. Uh, Altis office? You don't know where Altis office is? Floor B2, left hand out of the elevator. Try to see what the hell there is more over here. Service tunnel. So he said it beats you. But can we go to the other one, to this one and check? Everything hand sanitizer. Well, then, do not hit full of strong god with, with the magrave things. The leader who keeps the magrave thinking it off, I'll kill you. The man bathroom.
Any employee may use the restroom up to five times per day. Feed immediately. Okay. Checking all this stuff. Okay, this is the place that you need to come, beat you. Have you heard we are hiring more people? What for? So that someone could die of war on this crap farm? Hey, you don't have to put it that way. Am I wrong? Yeah, I've heard they say the man is trying some kind of new recruiting procedure. New procedure? Are they. Axing field prats or what? No, they are doubling down field prats. New, now news must do field prats and at both screening and hops. What field prats in the cellar even for screen candidates? So they say, poor newbies. Oh, you cannot go that way. I thought the door opened for me, not for this random person. I'm going to be late for the interview. Fuck. Hmm? Ah, who the heck are you? Ouch, that attitude. Ah, the new guy, looking for the man. She said to me, although by now she should be on the way back. A point which I first come, first serve, understood? Uh, I'll go in first when she come back. You wait for your turn. I haven't said anything yet. Where's your uniform? In the backpack, not ready to put on it, on it yet. Go find the restroom and get changed. Without the uniform, Silencio won't let you into any office. The farm itself. The whole farm is caught up by a central IE, which identifies and tracks all personnel on site. If it doesn't recognize you as an employee, it won't grant access to the office. Can't believe you come to an interview without the slightest clue about the job. You are welcome. Now listen up, you, you need two things to go around the farm, your face and your uniform. Every uniform is unique, bearing a code that represents your job title and security clearance. Alright, since you have nothing better to do, go run some errands for me. Yes, by the power of seniority, go downstairs and buy me a bottle of soda. There's a vending machine. All right, you are too, you are too new to con to know where everything is. Before, where the consultation lobby is, vending machine is right next to the elevator. Now pay attention. I want a bottle of Hua Leaf, not Hua Lies. Two different bands, but look and sounds familiar. Look very very careful. My stomach doesn't agree with Hua Lies. Makes me feel woozy. Sounds are all screwed up. I'm. In severe case, I may feel sick or pukey. That's it for now. Whatever you decide, just make yourself scarce. I need to focus on the proposal. Ah, quick change of mind. Uh, no worries, shots are free of charge. Part of the employee benefits. Are we clear? Now get going. Okay, a restroom. I don't think there's a restroom in this one. I think I can go down. I think in the before I can do that. I think I'm gonna buy the... Who lies like that? It goes, it goes to puke, and I can enter. Where the hell? Uh... Hmm? Hey, I want the soda too. Sorry, didn't see you there. Wait, I'm having a hard time deciding. You know what? How about you help me decide? This machine only serves two brands, and now it's almost empty. With one, ex with exact one bottle each left. One is well if the other will lies. The look and sound familiar, but big difference when it comes to taste. Hua Leaf is light, refreshing, pairs well with heavy meals to soften the grease. Hua Leaf is kind of the opposite, it's an energy drink, basically equal parts of caffeine and sugar. Two kinds of hike in one package. It's not for everyone, so might feel sick from the kick. Not me though, I'm okay either way. Ah, damn, it's too hard to choose between them. You're not helping, I'm on weight control, strictly two sods a day, this decision makes 50% of my day. Huh? My weight, I have to say. Anyway, this critical stage, think, think. Alright, alright. How about this? You pick one for me. Sky Q asking for who will leave. Who will leave? Who will I? Switch one, come on. 
Yeah, 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 I see. Oh, maybe you say that because you want the other wicked trick, huh? Really? Good. I say that because I have this nagging habit, you know? Every time I, after all, make a decision, I ask someone else to do it for me. Then I'll go the other way, huh? Just in case they want to keep the good stuff for themselves. Huh? Ha ha ha. I knew it. You are tricky, aren't you? Alright, I'll let you have what you want. Thanks, bro. I'm sorry for wasting your time. See ya. Oops, now there's only whole eyes which guy is the one. Shall I buy it? Of course you're gonna buy that. He's gonna puke and you don't have to wait. Fuck him. Uh so is it the other side? Put our uniform. As Chris stated in my report, the prof uh, profit margin on this count is flexible. In fact, there's ample wiggle room as long as we do not commit to a m specific maximum flops. The client lacks flexibility, we give them flexibility. Win win. That concludes your proposal, I hope. Now, Mr. Q, listen very careful. The, my job is to make profit indeed. On the other hand, I must not uphold the rights of our contributors. We are running a business. Don't even try to lecture me on commercial operation, balance sheets. I know better than you do. Profitability is not an excuse to abuse contributors. They are our partners, not company assets. They have the right to reasonable benefits. That is the bottom line. On top of the profit, a business has a reputation. We must build. F By losing a little immediate profit, we are planning for the long term. Don't tell me you are naive like that. Please take a closer look at these figures, me see. Uh, clearly, that the show is such. Are you trying to uproot the entire season based on one quarter's performance analysis? Take your stupid proposal, show yourself out of the dead door, don't let me see you again ever. I have enough of you and your proposal, all these nagging nonsense, week after week. Fire me, huh? What age do you think this is? 2000s? I managed this and authorized to fire people on a whim in case you are not aware of it. Have you checked my performance record? Top of the line in every single review. Good luck trying to convince the system to fire me. Don't try too hard. That when it comes to your words against my words, <coughs> the system might as well fire you. Let me remind you of all the power that you don't have. I'm well aware. If that is stupid enough to let you into the comp, it won't be too hard to make it kick you out. Now get lost. You. Good, very good. You know what? I've had enough of you. I should have known that you wouldn't listen to facts and reason. Go on, keep on playing the saint on your high guards. All this talk about Jesus rights, it's all hypocrisy. Ask around the cop and every single soul will agree with me. Mr. Q. You are a smart man, heartless, but smart nonetheless. I believe you'll find a successful career. Do me a favor, don't be w one of the bad guys. The world has more than enough of them already. This world we live in, it takes a bad guy to win. For that reason, I'm firing you here and now. If only as a statement that, uh, that a bad guy will not win, not under my leadership. However, I will endorse you to the Fenquan farm. You have found a dead hand here, but over there you'll start anew with much more opportunities. I, uh, just be a better man. That's all I ask from you. Now, goodbye. Goodbye. It, it serves it. Thank you. Good luck with the interview. How does it feel seeing the manager find someone right before your interview? Feels terrible. Great. Truth or lie, we'll tell soon enough. You should see it as good news. We are more fakes in the team, now your chances has increased. But how do you get in when I was in a session with someone else? Silence, you should have locked you out. It means Celeste is granting you access. Don't worry, whatever the cause is, it's not your fault. Probably trying to prank me, knowing how much I hate it. Because it makes everyone who works here nudge. Okay, enough shit chat, come here. Chase and die, is it? Great. Sorry I don't have a spare share. You 
There's a spare chair over there. What the fuck? You might have to stand for a while. No, hey, I'm not blind. That's an empty chair over there. I see that you have put on your uniform. Cool. I like people who take the initiative. You are off to a good start. I should thank that fire guy for setting your expectations low. All right, let's cut to the chase. You want a job? I want someone who can do a job job well. Let's start from the basics. One PC operates on the central IE. It controls everything. The IE runs on computational power or flops in call colloquial terms and that comes from this flop farm here in other words if you take one day's break the whole one pay goes offline i trust you are well aware of that <coughs> yes i see that you are well prepared for this interview thank you fran for all those talks about work at home what i just said was an overstatement it's actually made to test your knowledge Truth is, there is an abundance of flop farms, 23 of them are on one pay alone. Out of these, 18 beat us up, beat us by generation in terms of hardware. In other words, one pay doesn't need us, do you get that? We are replaceable, and our competitors will try everything to make us obsolete. Will you let that happen? Oh, suppose you are hired? I like the confidence, but of course you say that as a job seeker. Do you really mean it? You will see soon enough. From Farm 003, aka Silencio, used to be a plant of cutting edge technology. That was 20 years ago. These days, every single flaw farm beats us in hardware. Silencio is a thing of the past, refusing to let go. What we lack in hardware, we try to make it make up for it with software when the other farms try to make more profit by cutting back on contributor benefits we go the other way and by treating our couples as well as we can we care about their well-being financially and physically to secure a reliable supply of flops nope i won't call it smart it's a very risky approach any fail could be catastrophic but it's tailor-made for what sense you ask she looks proud of it i also don't agree with everything i say we don't encourage ass kissing here don't bother trying to flatter me, it won't work. Understand? Great. There, enough uh, about the cover, now let's talk about you. Your presence in this office means silence has decided to hire you. It's an informal decision based on every record about you that can be located. Yeah, we know everything including your military service and all the trouble you caused there. Oh, you work as a security guard after discharge from the army. The employer was airtight security. Information is power, Mr. Dai. Corporations vision have access to everything they want to know. As long as recording my procedure is concerned, this interview is not required at all. However, I do not trust the IE and system it stands for. I believe people cannot be boiled down to figures and records. For a second, she sounds super serious. This job is not the pleasant one. You will be dealing with some so, some of the poorest people. In a sense, you will see the underbelly of this society, the part that everyone wants to sweep under the rug. I have interviewed many candidates better than you, or so their records suggest. Most of them can't face such reality. It doesn't happen overnight. Day in, day out, they pick up what they see and feel on the job. Misery, anxiety, cynicism, and worse. Tiny change add up. A few months later, you won't recognize them. It's as if the same body is hosting another soul. The point of this interview is to make sure, I hope, that you will not end up like them. Confident, huh? Great. First of all, I need you to take a test drive to see if you can get along with this job. For the next couple of days, you will be on the field price, working as if you are already hired. Note that I said, as if. Your employment depends on the performance of this field practice. The interview notes didn't mention anything about the field practice. Being a practical person, I would like to know that every purchase is worth its price. Today you are assigned to a screening division, tomorrow ops division. But I thought I was candidate for the ops division only. That's it? Aren't you curious about why I'm sending you to the screen? It's out of scope. Ha, ah, I see. More doing, less talk. I could use a man like that. Keep in mind that today and tomorrow will be critical for your career outlook. Now head to the screening office and find their lead, their lead Wayne Zhang. He will walk you through the rest of it. If there are any questions, now is the time to ask. Outside my office on the right hand uh, side. Any more questions? Of course you are, and generously, you won't be disappointed. What I'm looking for is talent, and for that I'm more than willing to pay a fair price. Prove yourself and get paid. 
Right, but again, you are at least as a candidate by silence. I hate it with a page, but that doesn't blind me. I know that every decision it makes is well informed. You are a chance that I'm willing to take. So the qualification alone has earned you to pay for the field price. Take it with peace of mind. Any more questions? Straightforward, aren't you? Damn. I, I could have been more diplomatic. Not a bad thing, ha. Huh? Being straightforward is a rare quality these days. Phew, I thought I was on for it. Let's put it this way, I have no idea yet. If you are wondering how I feel about you, I feel nothing. Is that the good news or bad news? Well, it could go either way. Meaning I also didn't screw uh, up, but I haven't really heard any points either. From here on, it's all up to you. Show me your worth. Any more questions? You are free to go now. The plant. You stop there. Who are you? New guy, huh? Nice. I'm supposed to trust you like that. Be nice, Lawrence. See, let's open the door for him, meaning he does belong here. Could be a system glitch, or maybe he's a hacker. Chase and I isn't new recruitment. Nice to meet you. I'm Edith E. Chief Administrative Assistant of the Screen Division. Chief in title, should I impress her? Relax, getting a chief in title doesn't mean I'm your boss. How can I relax when she reads my mind like that? To be told, my job is to take care of trivial matters for Auntie. Trivial matters like carrying mullet victims out of her office. Saw you do it the other day. <clears throat> December 2, she has uh, Jean Tsai, reason of death, asking for a raise for the fourth time. Mm. That's what it was about. Yeah, sometimes Shanti can be brutal. Brutal in the physical sense. How you experience first hand on your first day. How are you going, you guys? In the savage side of Auntie already? Seriously? I swear she wanted to kill me the first day we met. It's I'll call it bullshit. But again, your face says you mean it. Was she like actually nice to you? Is it even possible? Unfair. No, that's all cool. You are not one of our coven. To join the club, one must acquire the mental trauma bestowed by Auntie. Don't count me in. I'm no part of coven. Hi, Mr. Dye. I'm Kathy C. Technical support. Kathy's uh, a tech witch. She fixed stuff in a blink. Like the other day, I tipped a whole bottle of soda over my computer. She fixed it before I could clean up the table. I asked her chicks for a replacement. Not much fixing, really. And that should uh, be Kikyu's responsibility. Don't ask me next time. Ah, uh, you are awfully modest. The replacement com cost comes at a cost which should have been deducted from my salary. Please check, double check, Edif. Sure. What? Nobody told me that? You must be joking, right? I haven't even received my first paycheck yet. Kathy, tell me you didn't mean it. Come on, it was just a quick fix. Please! Anyway, welcome aboard. I guess Auntie told you to find the team lead for further guidance. I see. Unfortunately, the team lead is not here at the moment. I think he's running errands for someone. I thought the team lead should be immune to such requests. Okay, here's how it goes. I'll show you to your cubicle. This way, please. Oh, you cannot run. Make yourself comfortable. This is your personal uh, space. I've cleaned it up. Hope you like it. She did one heck of a job. The girl before you left the cubicle a mess. Talking about the mess, just look at QQ's desk. I, I, I pretend you didn't say that because I'm a bigger person. Big in the, the matches to power me, yeah. Oi! You bunch, show the new guy your nicer side. Sorry, they are like that, bickering all the time. Are they? Haha, <laughs> as long as you don't feel uncomfortable. So let's quickly go over the agenda for today. You participate in two procedures of the routine work, consulta consultation and singing. Are you familiar with your work? I see. No problem. That is to be ex expected. You were selected by the great Malgrade after all. You are not supposed to know everything before starting. Don't worry. I'll bring you up to speed. This won't take long. <clears throat> Simply put, a lot of people come to this farm looking for work on a daily basis. The overall majority of them are from slums, not the best part of the site. For this reason, we must... Eddie? Sorry, I wandered off a bit. Back to subject. They are not like you. They work. They, the work they look for is, a fl is flop contribution. 
in layman's terms, knock them out and hook their brains up to the IE network. So they serve as a computing units, replacing expensive processors. <laughs> right, exactly like Tyler said. Computational power, or flops, is a critical resource in the age of IE. Consultation means we must meet potential contributors in person. The point is to verify their physical and mental well-being and sign contracts with appropriate candidates. That's about the size of it. I should find someone and ask about fine details of the job. One more piece of advice. Based on what I know about Haunty, the outcome of your consultation will count a lot toward your interview. You should tread very, very carefully. Is it staged this time too? Of course, we can't afford any issue with screening. A new recruitment at Feng Kwan Farm led a dope head slip through. Guy almost died on the rug. Did you hear that? What the? Gee. That said, your consultation search has been staged. Meaning whoever you are going to see the array pre-screen it. Haunty has a pretty good idea about who's fit and who's not. This is not good news for you. It means you must find the correct answer or else you'll have no place in this office. Tyler, you're stressing him out. Am I wrong? No. You take care though. The Haunty likes to set traps in this stage of test. You have any questions, ask me anytime. Do you have time? I reckon you are late on several reports. About that. This guy here needs help. Reports could wait. I know procr Procrastination is a thing, but what will Mr. Lee Owl say when you keep missing that lunch? I, uh, I'll get it done. Good boy. Okay, Chase, take your time getting familiar with things. Ah, one more thing that you should know. Since today's a field price, you only have consultation points with four candidates. I sent you their profile. Check your computer when you have time. I'm afraid the sesh can start until Wayne comes back. It might take a while. He left not very long ago. Take your time going through candidate profiles or you could walk around the office get to know your future colleagues. That's it. See you later. If you any help, need any help, my desk is over there. Welcome to the home screen. Current use chasing day. What do you like to do? You're authorized to access the following rich vision flop farm business upper levels. Not authorized within the tech central risks office consultation lobby. My stats. Farm operation stats. 84. Work schedule. Your next status consultation. Please wait for further instructions for the skin team lead. Meanwhile, I may examine candidates' profiles. Eugene Dai. Crustacean. And I likely zone 17. Male 49. Unmarried. No, so mentally slightly malnourished. 7 out of 10. Stage 1 pay 25. Female. Okay. Mild depression. Unmarried. Physically well. Fitness score 9 out of 10. Okay. One pay, female, 22, unmarried, no issue of is perfect health, 10 out of 10. Holy shit, so 7, 10, 9, 10. One pay, 59, married, slight bipolar disorder, symptoms of overexertion, okay. Finish doing my homework, should I ask them how much, how long I have to wait? Hey. Wait, Wayne, welcome back. No more Wayne, he's the team lead now. Thanks, Kathy. I, I'm okay with with Wayne. Take a brief, though. Did you run up the stairs or what? I, I'm. You're looking for the new guy? Yes. He's right there. How do you assign him to Jean's cubicle? I see. Thank you, QQ. I'll go back to work, Wayne. Sure thing. Keep up the good work. Oh, I. This team lead pretty young. My chance at screen largely depends on this guy. I got to impress him. Uh, 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 totally. Uh, let me catch my breath. Sorry, I'm late. Bad timing. Cut, caught unprepared by some work. Thank you. I'm glad you are a nice guy. He's quite outgoing. I was promoted to team lead not go long ago, so get used to it. Hold on, I need another briefer. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Wayne Zank. You must be Jason. How do you feel? How are things going so far? He's successfully outgoing. Is that so? Great. I thought someone would pull pranks while I was out of the office. I wonder who this someone could be. Any idea, QQ? Not me. I'm the living definition of reliable. Eh? Then it has to be me? 
Did I do something wrong? Relax, aha, back to your work, Lawrence. So, sir, yes, yeah, sir. Sorry, like I said, being the team lead for only this long, sometimes I have authority issues. No kidding, I don't see much authority in him. Ah, good to know. I almost forgot. Were you surprised? I mean, applying for ops but sent to screen for field practice? Very much surprised. We were, we are trying out this new recruitment model, and you are the very first test subject. According to Miss E, it should be, it should streamline the employee uh, onboarding process. Having hands-on experience on both sides, you work very close with ops. Very close, for real. Hey, QQ, they don't want to work with us. Against us is more like it. Tell you what, Chaster, Chaster. Consider yourself lucky getting a job at Screen. Those people at Ops are. Hey, stop it! Right. We have conflicts of ours every now and then, but let's leave it for another day. Your sketch for field price at Ops tomorrow. I don't want to give you a wrong idea. About Miss E idea of uh, double field price. I have my own guess. I suppose she really is trying to uh, bridge the gap between our divisions. From the company's perspective, business divisions should be insulated from each other as much as possible for confidential concern, concerns. Uh, hard to explain, without any background or knowledge, it could be overwhelming. You'll know after working here a, a while. Oh, did you happen to read the profiles while waiting for me? Fantastic, you are very efficient. I've gone through the profiles too. Today consultation is going to be very easy. There's a perfect candidate with 10 out of 10. You know who I'm talking about? I can't afford to get this wrong. Bingo! You have done your work, homework very well, great. Yay, one more point for me. When you are ready for consultation, find me at my desk. I'll talk. I'll take you to the consultation lab. We have some time to spare. Take the opportunity to make acquaintance with everyone. They might offer something helpful for your upcoming sessions. That's it then. Uh, hey, wait, can I borrow you for a minute? The heck does he want? Nah, nothing really. I went over our previous conversation again, realized that I was sort of a dick. The more I think about it, the worse I feel. Can't live with myself if I don't apologize. I'm sorry. This guy is personally nice. Thank you. Oh, I'm Lawrence Chang, a new guy to start here last week. You are? Chase and I, huh? I'm the younger one, right? I'll call you Mr. Die then. No problem. So what made you work here? For the money, of course. Eh, me? He seems a bit shocked. For what? Uh, about that? Nothing. You are full of questions, Jason. Haha. <laughs> I see. Say, it's nice to find a colleague as new as myself as a, at a new job. He's trying to change the subject. Why? Trying to keep privacy? Could be. Anyway, that's all. I just want to say I'm sorry. Please, I don't want you to feel bad. Got to go back to work. Bye. Hmm. A little bit uh, suspect, that guy. Hello, before you say anything here, this you, you youngs don't know as much as you think. Youngs, I'm almost 40 years old. Right, youngs don't like to be called youngs, except my point. Relax. All I want to say is that your job is not an easy one. Don't think otherwise, simply because everyone in this office seems nice. The team lead included. Great. Uh, when he's young for a team lead, too young for his own goal, he hasn't learned how to lead yet. He comes H again, H talk. Of course I do. The time one has spent in this world means experience, knowledge. I've seen and done more stuff than you, am I wrong? Now listen, about Wayne, the one thing that he cares about is being a nice guy. To that end, he's trying very hard to impress everyone who works under him. Being nice is a virtue, alright, but it depends on the timing and location. In this case, he's not able to play the bad guy on the situation calls for one. As a result, our division's performance has been constantly dropping. You know as much as I do that this is a cover, not a kid in garden. I'm asking you to adopt realistic expectations. Be ready to face what you do not want. Consider the possibility that you may not get this job at the end of the day. Like I said, it's not an easy job. Don't take this as a threat or a warning. I want you to bear an uncertain mind. This office may be a great vibe, but a, pos a, pos a position for you is not guaranteed yet. I like this kisser, sort of. Blunt, a bit wrong than all this age talk, but very much sincere. Yeah, now your turn. Any questions? I'm in charge of night shifts, making sure everyone meets the deadlines. Everyone includes the team lead. This guy oversees the overseer. 
you have means on stool. It's not superficial. I'm helping him. I'm assigned by Mrs. He, she knows when he issues. She, he, he tends to put his own work aside to help others. Okay, any more questions? All clear. We can talk to him again. Advice, let me think. Ah, I'll say go for the younger ones. Most sure, I go by this principle and haven't failed yet. Younger means healthier, better performance as Scotty Water. They usually get better rating in press screening too. Is quite common. Anything else? Ah, consultant like Tyler. Feel free to call me Senpai. Kidding, I'm about as new as you are. Anything else? Okay, so go for the younger ones. Who was the... these the... yeah. Hi, can I help you? Uh, this one. Hmm, no. What? Why? May I know why? Don't jump to conclusions yet. I say no because Missy won't allow it. She wants to see how you operate of your own accord. Giving advice will affect your own judgment. I'm supposed to. Although, there's one thing I can tell you, I suppose. All candidates you'll meet today are applying for short term contribute opportunities. By short term, I mean one week or two. Nobody will volunteer if not for an urgent need of cash. That is because short term contributors tend to have powerful side effects. At a service, they will experience dizziness, confusion, or memory loss for over a month. Those who have big plans to come may not be the best fit. Mm, am I giving too much information? Means he won't be happy if she finds out. Deal. Okay, anything else? It's a up to personal preference. I quite enjoy working here myself. Everyone gets along. The manager can be the man sometimes, but that's just the way she is. We all trust her. I'm not trying to be diplomatic, you know. What do you think so far? Great. All right, the job benefits have improved since the new supervisor arrived. I haven't met her yet, the new supervisor from HQ, but she has already done quite a few favors for us downstairs divisions. Previous supervisor only care about upstairs. Pretend we don't exist. Now we find I have an advocate. Okay, anything else you want to know? I don't have more. I'm ready. Great. Let's go. You cannot run. Not the best time to take the elevator. This could take some time. Yo, wait. Thank you for helping me out just now. I couldn't have done it myself. Mr. Liao gonna kill me if I miss the deadline. <laughs> you saved my life today. I heard you are getting a newbie to be late. Huh? You are the newbie? Hey. We just met not long ago. Right, I talked to him upon arrival. Don't think we did proper introduction, did we? Chef Wu, nice to meet you. You are lucky. Wen is a nice boss. Consider yourself a lottery winner. Life won't be so easy under other night shift folks. Oh, stop it, you. Am I wrong? Ha ha ha. Ah. Did Kathy just pass by? Yes. Did she happen to overhear anything I said? Definitely did. Okay, Chef, we have serious business here. Uh, bye then, newbie. Wayne. No, I shouldn't call you Wayne anymore. Bye, lead. See you. Oh, good luck dating. Haha, uh, <laughs> here's the elevator. Let's go. What? Oh, that. Uh, right. <clears throat> uh, there's someone I like. Is blushing. A colleague at the fire, but in another division. I've been looking for an opportunity to ask her out, but uh, too busy. Yeah, I don't have the time. Ouch, I was bluntly straightforward. Eh? The girls, to be honest. I mean, what if she says no? What about you, Jason? Ever ask a girl out? Don't you ever get cold feet? Get cold feet? What for? However, I reckon Fran asking me out first. Exactly. Hey, wait. Why are we talking about this? That's business to take care of. This elevator is sure taking its time. Oops, I forgot to press the floor button. Sorry, haha. <laughs> Here, the consultation lobby is this way. It's 
not this right? Oh, hi Wayne. Cindy, yeah, I wasn't expecting to see you here. You are blushing all over, dude. Now I think I know who his crush is. Not expecting. QQ asked me to come over and help. Apparently the server in the lobby needs to fix again and he's too busy to do it. Considering someone calling Lucius for help isn't a solution. I'm happy enough to visit you guys every once in a while, though. QQ doesn't, didn't seem busy at all. Ah, he, he said you were looking for me? Uh, what is it? I, uh, I was planning to... I could give him a push. Oh, I... Uh... No, he's pulling your leg! What? I didn't mean that, I... Wayne? I was planning to ask someone out, right, to a movie this weekend. Ah, I see. Good for you. What movie? The new one by Christina Noren. Oh, I've been looking forward to it. The, the tickets are gone in a minute, though. Wish I could watch it. Cool call, Wayne. Great movie for a date. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. I'm Cynthia Ho. Nice to meet you. You are... New employee here for interview today. It's assigned to Phil Pratt's consultation, which will start now. Good. Good luck with everything. You are welcome. I'm going back to my office. See you around, Jason. Wayne. See you. What now? Please, forget what happened. I'm not so sure about that. I said I asked someone else to the movie. She didn't seem to mind. What do you think? Phew, let's go. I'm not gonna say the first one. Holy shit. This consultation law with where the last step of screening happens. Much bigger than I thought. Now pay attention, Jason. Today you are on field price, nothing intensive. Next you'll have consultation sessions with four candidates and select one from them as a contributor. I'm not in a position to discuss that, sorry. We'll explain later on. Let me walk you through the routine first. The candidates know what they are required to do. They will start the conversation with a self-introduction. Which side who makes the best contributor based on what we learn from it? Listen carefully, ask questions, learn as much about them as possible. After all four sessions, go find me C and tell her your decision. Then come, uh, there comes the signal of content, seal the deal, I'll walk you through that too. Now the important part, finding out who is not fit is the bare minimum. If you really want the job, do better than that, meaning you must find out who is the fittest. Of course, you have no idea what makes one fit or unfit. This is the point of field prize, to see if you can figure out things out on the fly. I will give you some hint, but never ever mention this to Miss He, will you? Meaning she willing to break the rules to help me? Yeah, I'll be so dead if she knew I'm doing this, haha. <laughs> Good, here it comes. We feel pride she wants to see how you operate on the insufficient data. You may want to take everything into consideration before making the big decision. For example, instead of report to me see you right away, you may ask colleagues who have done consultation for additional input. Tyler, Tyler, Chef, to make name a few. Of course, they may not want to help, but you never know without asking first, right? And testing the boundaries already. <clears throat> so much for hints. Now you may start your search. Chef will always take your booth when you all four are done. Chef? Ah, the guy we met at the elevator. The guy we just met now, remember? Okay, that's good. Good luck. My name is Eugene Dai. An awkward star. Phew, it's crazy out here. But there's no air conditioning on the other side of this class. Can't believe I'm finally here. Sent out my application back in March. March last year. Didn't hear nothing from your companies ever since. Thought you didn't want me. I said out of the blue, they told me to come here. Uh, before anything, let me make this clear. I have to take... I have to take care of some family mercy. Some, suppose you pick me at the end of the day, I may not be available right uh, away. Do you still think we need to keep this consultation going? Probably is, I'm not quite sure. Maybe, or maybe not. Don't feel like talking about it. I, I should go, this is wasting your time. Good day, uh, my name is Yvonne Chiang. Yvonne with an E and double N and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Does it take an expert to tell she's nervous? No, anxious is the right word. 
All right, I brought this with me. Yeah, ID, social security, and driver's license. I thought you need this to see the original garbage of this after the session, no? Great, a bit extra preparation on charge. Just in case, I brought all my ID papers with me. Ha, <laughs> let me uh, start with a cell introduction. I'm born, 25, living with my parents in prep school, working part time. Our community is called Mayhu in one place city but on the outer rim. Address is number 5, uh, EE 4th Street of 6th floor. You don't need to go that far into details. Am I saying anything wrong? Ah, you don't need that much information, maybe. So I, I ramble when I'm nervous. No. Oh, I'm in prep school because I failed the college admission exam. Now I'm giving it another try. Prep school and part time working, yeah. The thing is, my parents can't quite afford to have me studying full time, especially now when they have big bills to pay. I need this opportunity to contribute some real income. But the upcoming exam is six weeks away. I can't make any long term commitment. They told me flop farms pay good money quick, so here I am. I have uh, done my own work finding out uh, what contributions need to do. I thought the younger candidates had a better chance. Lance is say younger candidates are better. Really? Great! Well, that's perfect. Uh, thank you. I really, really need this job. What else again? I'm the only child. My parents try to provide me with everything they can manage. I thought we are not rich, yeah. Still, they sent me to an expensive school, doing everything to make sure I could have a decent future. And I want to make them proud by getting to a great college. But I failed three times in a row. This year will be my fourth try. I haven't made a single penny this whole time, and our rest is doing very well. They, there used to be quite a few restaurants in our streets, now we are the last one stand. This is unfair, I mean, ram is the best when made the traditional way, what you say so? But these days it's all about franchise stores, doing everything with many machines. Quick order, the quick service, and cheaper too. Clean bots keep the restaurants sparkling all the time. Oops. It wasn't like this before, when I was a little girl, the city was full of independent shops and restaurants. Now, big companies are taking over everything with their franchise stores. I guess you don't see many mom and pop stores where you live, sir. Plenty of them, in fact. Dingan is what we'll call traditional community. Whoa, I'm surprised. You live in one of those traditional communities? Good for you. Plenty of nice surprises in those tiny shops. Is your community plan for elevation? I like to live in such a community for a change. Ah, sorry, I'm blabbering again. Anyhow, since I'm preparing for exam, full-time jobs are out of question. I really, really have to get an admission this time. A great cause, the exact measure doesn't matter. My parents have been working so hard to pay my tuition. They believe in me, told me to focus on my studies and not worry about money. I'm very grateful. Yet, every time they meet up with my uncles and aunties, they come home meanish. They talk about how someone else child could get got into great college and ask why I can't do the same. So I can't fail again, not this time. I can't live uh, with myself leeching off them like that. Uh, life is tough enough for, me, for them, even without me. Showing them a college and the least I could do. I know it's not my place to ask, but in this case I have to. Because I'm a bad daughter, a burden. I must have to seize this opportunity and show them my work. So, could you please select me as a contributor? I understand. So, as long as the session goes, will you say I have a chance? Good, that is great. Thank you, thank you so much. Great. I'll be going there and see you. Okay, Yvonne. Hey, Jason, how do you go? Awesome. Me, I almost got slapped in the face on my first consultation session. What the fuck? Long story, maybe save it for another day. I mean, call you. Chef, chatting up in the UBA? Uh, yes, Mr. Liao. Wasn't expecting to see you here at this time. I go where I go. You mind your own work. I see you have nothing better to do. Come help me with some files. Eh? I better not, Mr. Liao. It's about to finish out. I should wait here for my turn. Just a couple of minutes. Let me take a break, will you? After the break, you just took. What are you talking about? You dumped your work on Lawrence and went to take a break. Am I wrong? No such thing. I thought totally didn't go smoking. Did, did I mention smoking? Uh, I was out there helping someone out. Jason uh, saw me leave. Ask him. Is he lying, Jason Day? Hear that? I'm asking you again, Chance to die. Is he lying? Okay, I trust you. Go take your break. Yay! Probably can help us with Sophie because uh, we helped him. Thanks, Jason. No problem, dude. You need to cover us. Thank you for saving my ass. I owe you one. There we go, see?
Sydney Tong. Hello, my name is Sydney Tong. Wait, Sydney Tong was a lie. She's not 22. Yeah, she's 23. Hmm. Why doesn't she start? That case, she just said something. All right, yes, introduction. Shift the eyes, dodge. What she's planning? I was a public servant, a retired pension plan. Although it's not much, you must have seen how the girl keeps cutting back retirement pension plans. This is why I need this opportunity. I know that you prefer younger candidates and someone not as fragile as I am, but I believe I meet your main requirements at least. No way, this grant has no chance. Sorry, I know I'm well past the appropriate age. Honestly, I'm 68 now. I had to ask a friend for help to pass the initial screening. Meaning I shouldn't trust her medical report. This session may be a waste of your time. I certainly won't want that. Kindly let me know if you think I should show myself out. What do you think? I will show myself out then. Sorry for wasting your time. We couldn't accept her. Good day, my name is Sang Liu. Nice to meet you. Huh? You are his friend neighbor. Totally not expecting to meet him again out here. Oh, hi, Mr. Dai. What's the dispatch to you here? Um, our previous conversation didn't end well. Before we start, let's make this clear. Our previous uh, disagreement doesn't have any effect on this session, does it? Great, then. It looks massively clever. I'll start then. My name is Uncle Liu, 59. I work for Vision, construct supervisor. I mean, I used to work for Vision, was a construction supervisor back then. Nowadays, unemployed. I see why he's applying for this contrib contributor opportunity now. Career-wise, it's pretty simple. My dad was a construction worker, I followed suit, worked for 40 plus years. Vision had this new construction project uh, the year before last, and they gave me a promotion supervisor. Well, don't make an assumption, that wasn't my fault. Last month, the MS was like up in the air, he started to play with this AI management system. Say it's good for efficient. What do I know, right? I said they are only looking for an excuse to get rid of us old boys. How smart are their machines, huh? Better than my 40 years of experience? I is capable of construction supervision these days? So what? Machines are ordering human workers around now? Hey, let's not talk about that, alright? Irrelevant. Should I have seen that coming, to be honest with you? They have been replaced workers with machines already. I saw my men being kicked out one after another. The fleet of machines kept growing. It's kind of funny that I never thought I'll be the one to get boot. At least, I thought I'll be the last to get the boot. Turns out the machines might not the last laugh. I was replaced by a machine that could examine the entire construction site three times per, per second. The engineer's guy say it makes better decisions than I do by 80%. The fuck does he know, huh? A guy who's never laid a single brick before judging my decisions? You know what? It doesn't matter. My boss trusted him and that's enough. They said the fancy machine was so, so great, doing my job way better than myself. A couple of weeks later, I didn't have a job anymore. That's about the size of it. Thank you. Let's keep going. Like I said, my background is simple. Middle class family, bunch of work experience, school college too. A bit long in the tooth these days, but I still, but still in awesome shape. My generation grew up in some tough times, made us tough, not like youngsters these days. Sissies. You can tell by the medical report, perfect shape. Anyway, I think I'm great fit for the job. He's very confident. Right, overqualified for a construction worker. Eh? Not the best college, mind you, but pretty good. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I have the smart, see? Smart brains make more flops, no? Nah, I can't believe you found me for guessing wrong, eh? You people never let us know your standards. Okay, that's about it. I've done my part. Any questions? My mom's sick, been in the hospital for a while. I burned through my savings just to keep her there. Then the doctor told me she needs a surgery, which I can't afford, no way. This is why I'm moving out of that apartment, I can't afford it. That was pretty urgent, alright. Any more questions? Just me, and me, uh, just me and mom now, dad passed away a few years back, occupational injury. Hey, maybe it's not so bad, being fired by vision, at least I won't die like my dad did. The risk of death is real, working for vision. They don't give a shit about worker safety. No insurers not replacing busters safety gear unless they absolutely have to. Can't take sick leave. That's what I mean. Any more questions? No. That settles that. Please seriously consider me. I really need this opportunity. Goodbye. Here you are. Hey, you are all done? 
Great, now comes Tricky Pie, find the best candidate out of the four. Tough choice for you. Being a seasoned veteran, tall, I said correct answer is pretty obvious. He doesn't seem to be joking. Of course, as long as you cover me when out he finds out. Okay, for real now. Ha. I see your job depends on this. Let's put it this way. You might want to think about the whole situation the other way around. Exclude those who are absolutely unfit. Make things easier. That's all the hint I could give. Or else I'll be worried about my own job. Feel free to go. I'll pick from here. Good luck, man. Hmm. Ah, Jason. All done with consultation. Thank you for that work. So much on the side courtesy. That is frustrating. I'm about to order dinner. Would you like to join? Sure. Let's see. On today's menu we have uh, not uh, Ikeshita Bento again. Damn. What's wrong with Ikeshita Bento? Ah, Mr. Liao, nothing wrong, but it's been the same menu for a whole week. Sure, we'd serve a treat every once in a while. Now about M Mad McDonald's for a change. No real difference. Well, don't worry if it's not your taste. Your dinner, your choice. Okay, I get it. I'll order for your choice. Which do you prefer, chicken or pork rib? But that chicken bait is kinda meh. The rib is way better, I'll let you find out for yourself. I guess I'll order chicken today too. The rib bent is good, but enough is enough for a whole week. Anyway, I'll bring your bent over when it arrives. Don't let me keep you any longer. Hey, my pleasure. Don't need for this formality, man. Ah, this figure of, the figure of youth. Did I tell you about this disgusting chores I saw last week in the consultation lobby? Yeah, the guy smelled like he vomited all over himself. Did you choose him in the end? No, I couldn't stand the idea of being in the same contact room with him. You deny him because of his smell? That's unfair. No, I checked his profile. History of Metal Zor. He wasn't even coherent during the session. There's no way he could make cut anyway, so... We have seen quite a lot of candidates like that recently. Like what? History of Metal Disorder? No, the barfy kind. Must be some kind of epidemic in the shithole. A lot of them just start barfing, no warning at all, while waiting in the line. Well, it's called shithole for a, a reason. Are we gonna catch whatever germ they have? No worries, they are on the other side of the glass. And whatever disease they have, there's a vaccine for it. They are not vaccinated because they have no ID. I think I'm going for the young girl. As the government rolls out the Transit 2.0 initiative, we are seeing one term of over the news increasing out, which shows the coordination. So what exactly does it mean? If we put also coordination means interesting complicated systems to IEL grids, also in cloud for optimizing efficiency. The term itself is mouthful, but we in fact see its applications every day. The host of coordination is widely used in flight planning, power grid, so on and so forth. While it solves many problems, the innovation introduces a new co-dimension of concerns. Scholars and research across many industries have been warning us for a long time. They believe that the over-reliance on host coordination may not be a good thing. What do you think, Professor Liu? Yes, of course it's a problem. I thought the problem is not with the host coordination itself. When we talk about host coordination, we are talking about many separate co ecosystems, each controlled by a different service provider. That is, in fact, quite fine. If one service suffers and any others, the rest of them are not affected. The real risk is when you look closer, all these services are kept afloat by flops generated by the same entity, which is Vision Incorporation. Imagine what happens when hypothetical Vision's flop generation network goes offline for a single hour, whatever reason. Within this hour, the world as we know it will plummet into total chaos. First and foremost, all road planning, automatic driving, and traffic control systems will be wiped out. The damage will be. No, I can't imagine what it looks like. Gosh, it will definitely be the end of the world. Yeah, ideally, no, by common sense. We shouldn't put all the, your all eggs in one basket. There should be a healthy flops market with the first time competition. The reality is, Vision is the only corporation capable of meeting the country's demand for flops. This monopoly creates an enormous risk. Any secret breach or service outside the Vision could have catastrophic consequences. Is the government doing anything about it? Well, they certainly would if they could. In the domain of flop generation, Vision is the absolute leader in technology. No one is capable of supervising their practice. Surely other corporations in the flops industry have the know-how to supervise it. Not at all. As I say, Vision's technology is miles ahead of the game. No one has the know-how except for themselves. And again, is it really okay to let competitors supervise each other? They are conflicts of interest to consider. You're right. The next issue is legislation. 
honestly, we barely have any relevant legislation for the flops industry at all. The, the technology industry is growing so fast that our legal system can't keep up with it. I, I thought uh, the legislative assembly was the bait just a few days ago that Sure, they are acting, but don't forget Vichy is a counteracting tool. They want to keep the status quo. The chairman of Sunrise recently made a statement, remember? Sunrise will not buy one single flaw from Vision until the legislative assembly passes sensibly working regulative laws. Sunrise could afford to do that because they have their own flop farms. Other cops, especially smaller ones, no such luck. I see it's situation in dear dire. Now, a short advertisement break. Afterwards, we'll continue this conversation with a senior farm management division of corporation. You will share with us an in depth look at the secret mesh at Vision's flop farms. We'll be back soon. Jesus Christ. So HQ doesn't want to give the green light. You're back. Oh, hey, Jason. The atmosphere is depressing. What's the problem with silence? Why does it keep letting you invite people in? Man, about shutting down the farm. Okay, give us a moment, Eddie. Okay. Good luck. Come here. How was it? Consultation went well. Is that so? What's that supposed to mean? And why does she keep checking the screen? You know, the entire process was conducted under camera surveillance. I was watching. What? I hear every word. As I said, I make sure uh, every purchase I make is worthy. Actually, you did well. Being reasonably cautious, at least not having a conflict with anyone. Considering this is your first time, you have passed the consultation test. Generally, I appreciate that what you have done. Go cool, now. I, I only need to name the right candidate. Okay, let's go over some details in your uh, sessions. First of all, you should not have shown Eugene the door. He had not made up his mind. We can't reject him like that. Be aware that the company has spent time and money on pre-screening every single candidate. Oh, what he did is a waste of company resource. Could be. Let's see how you treat your more worthy candidates then. Next, Yvonne Chiang. You told her it is required. Unfortunately, that was incorrect. Really? As a result, I received a complaint from administrative saying yet another candidate went to them for idea verification. Worse still, she refused to go when told idea not being necessary. He sees that one of us sent her over, over. Given that she's desperate for this opportunity, it took a lot of time and effort to convince her otherwise. And that had a negative impact on the issues of the administrative. You still haven't caught my point. With this field price, I'm looking for someone who is able to proactively find pitfalls and device solutions. I do not have the resource nor the capacity to walk you through this step by step. You should be able to find out what this job involves on your own, and you demonstrate the search ability during your field practice. So far as I can tell, you are simply not able. This is unfair. I will pretend you didn't say that. My point is, next time if you do not know something, say it. No, that is not good enough. Try to know everything you need to know without being uh, prov Next, that issue aside, you did not make her any promise about the result. Well done. Never make a promise that you can't keep. Many consultants make things up on the fly when the kind repeatedly ask. At least you are not one of them. By the way, younger kinds are not necessarily better. Keep that in mind. The purpose of consultation is to make comprehensive assessments. Wait, who gave you such idea to begin with? You must have heard it from somebody. Is that so? Okay, next. Son, Sydney Tong. You reject Miss Tong. Good judgment, Carl. She's always not qualified and she violates regulations. You could have done better, though, by asking her to stay. Just keep the conversation going. You might find something helpful. Who knows? Don't worry about that. I will send someone to investigate her inside her friend. Last, Mr. Hank Liu. You met an acquaintance. What a surprise. I can tell that you are not on friendly terms. Lucky you kept personal grudge aside and continue with the session. Mm. The session was uneventful. Everything was handled as it should be. Okay, so much for review. I say my part, now it's your turn. Tell me, who do you think is the best candidate? A good decision. Sadly, I won't call it the best. You do remember she was upcoming exam, don't you? Do you know what follow-up commentary will do to her? Under side effects. Ah, oh, yes, the memory. Yes, fuck. 
On the side effects, she will not be able to think straight for a while. If we choose her, she will surely fail the most important side of her lifetime. It's a shame to say so, but I believe. Han Cleo is your best candidate. Every candidate has their own issues. Eliminate those who are absolutely not fit. Han Cleo is the last one remaining. Good health, mentally stable, predictable life. Nani has a legitimate need for this opportunity to ease the financial stress from unemployment. I thought she said she, we should prioritize those the most in need. You are correct that he's not, but he's desperate enough, am I wrong? The bottom line is, we are running a business, not a charity organization. You and I too, I must answer to a boss. We find the middle ground as best as we can. Come to think of it, she's sort of hypocrite. Do I, do I have to say out that out loud? Question me, a commendable show of courage. I do care about them. Miss Tung is too fragile for flop contribution. Miss Xiang can't afford side effects if her upcoming exam is critical. Mr. Dai, uh, Il Jin, is not sure about uh, what he wants. She could be a waste of time. Mr. Liu is the best common ground with her one best interest in mind. Now, allow me to make my statement again. Hopefully, you will have a better understanding. I, Eva E, care about every single candidate. Care for them. She looks kind of wavering. Despite your personal preference, it is what it is. I guess someone in the office must have told you to make the right decisions to get to your field priorities. And that this someone, I suppose, might very well be Tyler. Yep. In fact, the entire process is a task from consultation search to the final decision. Now I have everything I need to know. Based on her uh, reaction, I should be doing pretty well. Your next step is to sign the contract with Han Cleo. Like last time, Wayne will walk you through the process. Unlike last time, however, we will see through the senior process. We can't afford to fully entrust this final step to the new employees. I don't mind. I've been friendly senior by my side, a big plus. Oh, on top of Hank, there's someone else I need you to sign contact with. She has been press screened and verified by myself. You must sign her on, understand? That is not the bar. Bear this in mind, Mr. Dai. Seeing her on, or you'll be in big trouble. Come back when all is done, and I'll give the final verdict. This is my last chance for screening. Don't screw it. Go meet in the office. See you later. And if show Lawrence in. Oh, hi, Jason. Done with the manager? How do you go? Great. Auntie's calling me over, don't know what for yet, I'm going in, see ya. Well, I didn't say nothing about him, so... Looking for team lead? He, uh, he's outside running errands for someone, huh? you can wait in the car outside, signing room, I'll keep him informed. Of course I look, I look everywhere, even Lauren's desk. Say, his desk is probably clean for a messy guy. Uh, why did I check his desk? Because sometimes he helps me out with work. No, I'm not sucking off, and that's not the point anyway. Fuck me, I'm so dead. Hey Jason, help! You have a minute, this is kind of complicated. I still have some time before going to the contact room. Uh, it's like this, at least I left some critical documents in out his uh, office. Thing is, she's there right now and not in good mood. I can't just walk inside and say I forgot things. Ha, be a man, just go get that ready. You be a man, how about you give it a try? I'll pass. See, I need this dog right now, what should I do? Great idea. The thing is, the office is my clock and an out is out. Crap idea. What if I told you I can open her office up for you? Q man, the superhero. Not for me, it's chef's problem. I know how you plan to do it. I have special cleaners for the maintenance uh, work that could open the door. Of course, only when Aunt isn't there. Yo, who's not there? What's the latest gossip? Auntie. Hey, weren't you in her office just now? Yeah, it didn't take long. Uh, she left, not sure where to. Now it's time, let's move. Pick up Auntie's in her killer mode. Doesn't matter, it's now or never. Iha! Is this an organized operation now? This is fun. I'll get my stuff while Kiki opens the door. We need to someone to keep watch. Station at the elevator and keep Auntie occupied if she's back. Not me. Ah, sorry, I'm kind of busy. Hey, you folks. QQ and Jeff are watching me. I'm, it's none of my business. Yeah. Let's get moving. You keep watch the elevator, Jason. If you see Auntie, find something to keep her busy. Action time. Yeehaw. Go for it, QQ. 
I'm not your dog. I really shouldn't get involved with it. I'll just wait to Auntie here. Could she really come back so soon? Say, I'm supposed to keep our quiet. She's back. Chase and die. What are you doing here? Never mind. You shouldn't have asked it. What? Great, now she thinks I'm a pervert. I'm going. I said ask Wayne, is your baby seated? That was a waste of time. Damn. I didn't really buy them any time. They will get caught. Hold on. If they are caught, I'll take the blame too. I'll better check it out. Shit. So, maintenance, huh? Right. Then what chef doing here? I'm giving him a hand. Right. Is your vocal body down to one single word these days, Quentin? No, I mean, this star is really acting up, Bounty. You are acting up. These are working as great as I can be. Uh, did I ask for your opinion, Dai? Alright, are you done with it? I'll learn. Then go away, thank you. You are welcome. Phew, that was close. Chase, why didn't you slow her? Okay, Aunt is unstoppable force when she wants to be. Chaster seems to have her convinced about the door. I think it's going to be okay. Anyway, I have documents. That's what's count. Thank you guys. Oh, you won. You both. If there's anything I can do, just ask. I promise. If you get, if you do get tired, that is. I was joking. Ha ha ha. I'm off to deliver these documents. Bye. He's, he's gone just like that. Hey, Chaster. Now you know whom to ask in case you need to get the door open, eh? Because it's fun, huh? Good. Back to work. I have some real maintenance to do, haha. <laughs> what mess did I get myself into? Well, all that matters. That ends well. That's what matters. Probably need to go to the bottom floor. Probably I need to go over here. What are you, I mean about? I was thinking when will they get to the big? It's taking them like forever. I guess they're gonna take a lot. Really, why? No budget. The farm is, as always, not doing great. It's only gonna be worse going forward. HQ has been cutting down our budget quarter over quarter. They are waiting for us to shut it down. No way. What about us? Better start looking for the next job now. Easy for you to say. Uh, say, I've always wanted to ask, what's the problem with this farm? Why aren't there any day shift shops? Uh, most of upstairs division work day shifts, you don't know that. Like Mrs. of Love, why don't uh, we get sens sensible work hours? What do you think our responsibility is being part of screening? Uh, we talk to people and find the right candidates. What kind of people do we deal with? She told Wellers. Well, now you see. See what? Not Chopper's tool in the box, are you? Most of them she told Wells do labor gigs during the day, and those gigs don't last, they got to work the heck out of it while they have it, and nobody have time for us during the day. What, they have jobs? How else do we think they are paying for their food? Uh, not much of a job though, mostly outsourced gigs from fact to shit environment shit pay. Aren't facts like 100% automated? Believe it or not, humans are cheaper than machines, especially in shit hole where people are desperate enough to work for a fart. Now you understand our night shift situation. Yeah, now I know too much for my own good. Get used to it or don't ask questions. There's a can of worms at the end of most subjects if you pursue it hard enough. Man, I'm exhausted. Looks like my internal clock's not used to night shifts yet. Must stay awake. Ah, on the way you go to sleep. <coughs> So, you are the new one. The very same. Did you... You are not like the others somehow. I have never seen this. Huh? Ah, time's up. Jason? Here you are. Sorry, didn't knew you were taking a nap. Hopefully I didn't ruin it. 
Great. You're not used to night shifts, are you? Otherwise, you shouldn't feel drowsy this early. That I'm not used to, yeah. Yo, Wayne, Jason, how's it going? Lawrence, what are you doing here? Took over Tyler's shift. He got time, the time wrong, went out, but couldn't make it back before signing starts. I'll wait here with you guys for a while. You say Tyler got the time wrong, Lawrence? He has got his procrastination problem, but he but never missed a deadline. Did he say exactly why he's late? No, it's just that he got the time wrong. Okay. By the way, did you do it? That question was for Wayne. I haven't asked it yet. Don't tell me you got cold feet again. Tell you what, Wayne's been wanting to ask girl out for like forever. To help him out, we chipped in and bought him tickets to this super popular movie. And what now? He's too chicken to tell her. Huh? Aunt? For real, Wayne? Real what? Dude, you chicken out? I sort of. Jeez. Okay, enough of that. Now I need to go over to court to see any problems with Jason. Sure, I'll go tell everyone about Sir Wayne Carson's deed. Do whatever you want. The face of a man quietly accepts his fate. I need to check a few things with you, Jason. There was a slack of brochures mailed out together with your interview notices. Have you read them? Ah, uh, the notes explicitly say no preparation needed. I did read through everything in the package, so good for me. It was a sort of cut, but pain in the butt to read. Good for you, you have passed the test. What does it mean? Honestly, it's imposed by Missy. In her own words, we don't consider anyone who doesn't bother to read the brochures. She's going out of the way to challenge people. I guess you won't be too surprised after everything you've seen. In that case, you'll get along very well with her. I'll trust you on your words then, so you have read the brochures, or else you are ready to skull fight. That was a close one. What do you have read in Cool Vision's Cutterboot Contact Template? Again, assuming you really did read them, you must have notes they are clause beneficial to the contributors. Where is this conversation going? Now let me add one more thing about this beneficial clause. If they don't activate don't actively ask about them, we have no obligation to inform them. The company does not encourage disclosing unnecessary information, you know what I mean? Great, I'm bringing this up because it relates to a key performance metric at screening. What? The company IE system keeps track of every team member contract profit. If you give contributors too much benefit, it will show you on your performance review in a negative way. This whole process is handled by Silencio, who overrides me and even Miss E. You should keep that in mind. He's effectively telling me not to give any benefit. Now the specifics. There are three types of benefits or loss depending on your perspective. One, first time we're bonds. If the candidate is contributing to flops for the first time, we can increase their pay. Two, inside a bunch, if a candidate is, is or was an employee at Vision, they are entitled to additional pay. This causes to offer solid benefits, yeah. Last, free insurance. If the candidate does not have any accident insurance policy to cover the duration of the flop contribution, we can offer free insurance. Huh? Insurance is extra benefit? In the other is yes, but for flop farming, though, the whole business depends on cost control. If free insurance is made part of the basic package, no farm will cool last few months, not a single one. That makes sense. Hey, great come in. Uh, you guys are next. Your candidate's already inside. I told him about the basics. Kind of uneasy, don't know what for. He means uncle you. Thank you. We will take over from here. Good luck. You need good luck. How many times? How many complaints have you got? Free? Haha, <laughs> I could use some good luck. Put that smiley face away. Come over here. I'll give you a free lesson on contracts. What? But I got to. You have time. Hurry up. Okay. I'll take this guy elsewhere. Good luck, Jason. No problem. Let's go. Each one goes to his way. We go left, they go right. Okay, get ready, we're going in. If you have any questions, last time, chance. Of course, the decision, normally they won't have a reason to say no, though. Do streamline process, the company wants us to navigate the situation to the right event, that they change their mind. By the way, this will affect your performance review. Failing to see a candidate on, which will mean in-depth talk with your manager. Don't let them change their mind, noted. Any more questions? If they insist, no, the contract terms are firm, not even the manager could make any change. Our job is to convince the candidates to accept the deal. No room for negotiation. Okay, let's begin. Ah, hello. Evening, good sirs. Evening. What's with this sudden courtesy? 
Nice to meet you, Mr. Liu. I'm Wayne Zhang. This is Mr. Jason Dai. I trust you have our, you met earlier during consultation. Uh, right, I know him. We are neighbors, actually, ha. Huh? Ah, quite a surprise. You must have been informed that we are about to sign the contract. Uh, sorry to interrupt, I have a question. It's quite alright, what is it? You say we are about to sign the contract, meaning I'm selected? He looks relieved. Roger, great, yeah, great. Thank you for choosing me, Mr. Dai. When I say thank you, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You have no idea how much this means to me. He didn't look... Uh, look he indeed looks like a weight that's been lifted off his shoulders. Shall we continue if we are all clear? Ah yes, please. First of all, Mr. Ayer, our new employee will go over the con terms with you. My role today is to supervise. Please don't mind me. It's, is it okay, Mr. Liu? He's new. Does that affect my content in any way? It does not, rest assured. I'm all good then. I suppose you do. You are have already examined condition payments listed in the contract. Yes, I did. Looks all good. I agree with everything. We can see it any time. He's really eager to get this done. Gold, if you have any doubt about anything in this count, now is the time to ask. Mr. Dai here will answer your questions. Let's begin. Uh, how soon can I get the money? Money means contribute compensation, I think. There is 25% advance once he provides a receiving bank account. I see, great. I'll have the account set up as soon as I get home. When he's looking this way, he seems surprised that I know so much. The other thing is, this payment figure is in, co in the account. Is it firm, like guaranteed? I mean, is there any way to earn more? I see. Based on Wayne's reaction, I say the right thing. Frankly, I did check with him beforehand. What about the other way around? Will you find an excuse to cut my pay? I think the training patch did mention something like this. Depending on the contributors' performance, the deduction may happen. I'll thought we can't cut the pay down below 80. What? What do you mean? Damn, I got to calm me down somehow. How the hell can you do that? But I spent five damn months on this, and now you are stealing my money? Really? Promise? I I really need this money. Thanks. Explain then. What do you mean by deduction? Like, cut whatever you like from my pay? Can I trust you? That is indeed the case. Good. What is the limit then? When it looks happy about what I say, I must got the presenters right. That that's not bad. Sorry, I lost control for a second. Not a problem at all. Please don't hesitate to voice any more your concerns. I can't think of any other questions for now. Again, sorry I was really flaring up back there. Truth truth is I never done flop contribution before. It's first time. One specific class applies then, I'll thought it's not the company's favor. Did Wayne just just cast an annoying glance this way? Am I saying too much? First time bonus? Uh, yes, it's an incentive program for those who have never been a contributor before. You being uh, uh, first case, uh, perfect case for first time are eligible. All you need is to apply for it. Can I apply now? Yes, yeah, certainly. Nice. I knew Vision is the place to go. The reason why I chose Vision is that I used to work here. Not a complete stranger, you could say. I was part of construction crew when I worked here. Being a former employee makes him eligible for another incentive. That being said, I wouldn't end up here if Vision didn't fire me in the first place, eh? What? I get extra pay for that? Damn, it's about time to settle the score. I'm gonna apply for that, even if it kills me, huh? <clears throat> for that, we will need to see proof of employment. Ah, I can dig around for it when I get back home. Might have chucked it when they fire me. But good news is good news. My mom bills are paid, pretty much. Now the only concern is my own safety. You mean? I heard there is a risk in flop contribution, no? They say I reckon there is a chance of injury. What's wrong with Wayne? He looks kind of nervous. Technically, yes, there is risk. Be assured, though, that the risk is practically negligible. I'll trust you on that. I'm the only breadwinner in the whole family, you know? If I'm down, there is no safety net, no insurance. Having no insurance makes him eligible for yet for another benefit. We provide free insurance coverage for uninsurance contributors. It's a tough life, huh? Really? Free? As in free of charge? Yes, provided you do not have any 
active insurance pass right now. Count me in. Don't have any kind of insurance on me. I see. After seeing this contract, please visit the admissive a division for insurance application. Let me make a note of that. Okay, I'm right sign, I guess. Cool. Signature here, please. Don, no, thank you, Mr. Chang and Mr. Dai. Especially you, Mr. Dai. You help me a lot with those extra bonds. I may actually get my life back on track. I know. Not after that episode at your apartment. You have no reason to like me, really. Still, you told me about all these bonds. I'm not stupid, you know. You didn't have to mention any of it. I can tell that much. And doing this will maybe make you look bad. Peace poor as I'm, I am. I can't do anything for you, not right now. So the least I can do is a cheap thank you. Thank you. That's about it. Nice seeing you, old gentleman. See you around. Thank you for everything. What's when you're thinking? Chase, you told him way more than you should. This will look very ugly, reflecting your performance review. Are you aware of that? I, uh, if it goes far enough, the system may decide not to hire you. I'm talking about more than screen. You, ch you chance at zero PS could be blown too. Why did I go so far out of my way to help him anyway? Wait, don't tell me you didn't know that giving him too many bonds could cost your job. Ah. Uh, what do we do now? Things are really not looking good for you. If you are having second thoughts, there is one last chance. You can have this content to submit right away before he has a chance to apply for bonds. In that case, timing is the key. You must beat him to it. I can tell Eddie to submit this content right away pronto. Your job, your job, your call, what you will say. I really need this job. Again, he really needs those bonds too. I see that you have made up your mind. Anyway, unfavorable terms are better than no contract at all. That will be catastrophic. Okay, time for next candidate. You know what? I can't see through this session. Sorry, I have to work to do. After Mr. Liu, you should be able to handle it on your own. Oh, I was surprised that you knew about the 25% payment advance. For new employees, if any, are aware of fine details like that. On top of that, you also knew uh, you c we can't reduce the contributors' pay to below 85%. Now I'm going to say you are more than capable of this job. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I'll make sure Missy hears about this. No biggie. Good luck with the next contract. Oh my god, this woman looks like uh, it's dying. Hi, yo. What's with this weirdo vibe? This Miss Z must sign them on candidate. I sit there, there, where? Alright, uh, not all wrong at all. He. <laughs> Do I sign where? She's shivering. I'm signing the contract, no? Wait, wait, wait. Can I? Can you turn the heat a, a bit? I'm sort of shivering all over the place, huh? She's cold. Right now the room is very warm. Please make it warmer. Make it warmer. What's your problem? Eat it up. I am calm. I'm... <coughs> She's retching. Wait, all these symptoms adding up. Sorry, feeling sick. Let's sign this thing, then I'll be out of here. Where do I need to sign? Me? Doctor? No, why? You are funny, he... Doctor's funny, ha ha ha. Ha, no doctor, I don't want medical check, wave it. But her being here means she must already pass this health screening. The paperwork does sh sh say she needs a second health screen, though. The old guy said I can wave the second check. You can wave it, right? That is not the part. Why do we even care? It's my privacy. She's buying what she's trying to hide. I'm all clean now. Raging, shivering, bubbling. Seems of an amphetamine withdrawal. She's at a dope pad. Hurry the heck up. I got, like, place to be. She's there for a quick fix. Eddie if safe flop contribution and drug abuse to get could leave people disabled or dead. With the med check, please. So what? I can sell brain shoes. Somebody said no patch can do it. You have an idea who my dad is? City rep. I'll, he'll kick your ass if you keep saying no. You can't. I need money now. Need money for top. Can't sing her on. She's a ticking bomb. But again, failing to get her singer to means a ton of trouble for me. Especially when I just got the company into a bad deal. 
Okay, do your med check then. Whatever they find out, they can't stop me. I just didn't want to leave a record. Why bother? Mom and Dad don't care anyway. She's hesitated. I'm saying here, we all done. She's an adult capable of making her own decisions. L let her wave what she wants. I have a job to grab. The fuck do you care, huh? My parents don't care. Who are you to give lectures, huh? You go see a doctor, see a shrink weirdo, enough is enough, like she said, I'm not their parents. Are, are you done playing the saint yet? Why, why do you have to say no? She's backing down a little. What should I do? How can I make them care? I've heard the same question from Fran before. They don't care about me anyways, what should I? I know, sorry for bringing this on you. I uh, I won't sign this contract. Since I'm not signed, am I free to leave now? Goodbye. You can't, can't get, let you die like that, only to get a quick fix. It will be too much, man. Goddamn. Hey, stay here for a while, Jason. I know this seems fishy, but let me explain. What's with that awkward face? Man, I hate moments like this. First of all, I promise that what you just saw is the last of Missy tests no more. What? It was a yet another test. She assigned you Karen Chan case to find out how you make moral decisions when there are explicit orders from above. This line of work deals with life and death scenarios. Everyone on the job must be well qualified and prepared. We knew Miss Chang was not fit for contribution and the plan was to reject her during Signy. I was watching the entire process through the surveillance camera, like what Missy e did when you were in consultation sessions. I totally agree with you. For recruitment, she's going too far. You have every reason to feel offended. You're right, I apologize, but Miss E, I guess you have a fairly good idea about her personality. She's determined to go, to go, never thinking twice about doing the necessary evil. Don't expect her to apologize like I just did. All I want to say was, this is how she does things. If you are higher, be prepared to see more of it. If it's really not up to your taste, because you're giving up on this job, you can change her. Think about it after you feel practice. Okay, back to Karen Chang's case. Like I said, I was there watching the entire process. No, that was my idea. I could have sat next to you to, to chaperone the whole thing. Then I thought, you did what you did, probably to impress me. The point is of this test is to find out how you make decisions on your own. Maybe I'll better be better make myself scarce. Don't make, don't take me wrong, I don't enjoy it. I do agree it's a legitimate method or, or else I won't participate. I must say that what you did was outstanding. I shed a few tears on the other side of the camera. What exactly did I do right? You made her give up on her own accord. This is a very tricky case. Unreasonable candidate, not mentioning your job at stake. However, you managed to talk her out of it, even gave her a light of hope. That conversation will have fair reaching effects on her life, I believe. It does. She's a poor child craving for attention. Her family certainly isn't helping. Having you to feel for her, care about her, might have changed her life in a subtle way. Yes, indeed. You gave Hank Liu the help he needed. Then you did the same to Karen Chang. I will make sure they assign you to screening. You will truly shine. I got to come a bad deal in one case, no deal in the other. Surely the algorithm won't be too happy about it. Yeah, based on what we have here, it's really a concern. On the other hand, Mizia won't allow an AI to override their decisions. Yeah? He's contradicting himself. I say manage can't. Eva E isn't your average manager. If she believes you are worthy, she will find a way. I will report to her everything you did. She'll be more than happy to help you out. Anyway, unfavorable terms are better than no contract at all. That will be catastrophic. Empathy is the quality we always look for. Flop farm is one ugly business. We are essentially exploiting the poorest of the society for what little they are worth. At the very least, we should treat them kindly, fairly. Doing the right thing and the profitable thing, there's middle ground somewhere. At the end of the day, though, we are a commercial operation like you pointed out. Let's just say we do our best where we can. All things considered, I will vouch for you in front of Miss C. If she gives the green light, you are all good. Silence, you can't outwait her. That was it. Let's get going. You will only book this room for so long.
Ah! Help! What happened? I don't know. Calm down, Jade. What's going on? There's a man with a knife stabbing everyone. I calm down. Take a deep breath. Stay here. I'm gonna check it out. Get your boss here, motherfuckers! I'm gonna kill him for what he did. What's happening? No idea. This psycho bust out of a counter room and start to stab people. Keep asking for the boss, I I calm down, silence should have already sounded the alarm. Secret option must be on their way. We must need to buy some more time. But Lars, he took a stab for me and he's bleeding out. I don't know. Chef, calm down. I'll try to keep him occupied. The fuck are you whispering about? You deaf or what? I say I'll keep killing you fuckers until your motherfucking boss shows himself. The boss will be here soon, very soon. And you're calling the fucking cops. You mother die, you motherfuckers. The fuck out, asshole. Ah. <gasps> fuck. It was two times space. Pop, pop. Ah. That's right. Out! Jason, are you okay? You what? Knock him out? He'll say, stay down for a while. Did you? He looks shocked. Wait, Lawrence, he. I'm okay, flesh wound. Hey, stay still. Don't move him, chef. For a max and screw it out, she'll be here soon. I need to inform you, see. This mess was taken care of ASAP. Sorry, Chase, you may have to wait. We will let you know tomorrow, okay? Okay, do me a favor, will you? Go to the office, tell Eddie to spend all counter sign for the day. Could you do that? Great, that's it for now. You were like an action hero back there, man. Seriously, kick ass. Calm down, you're bleeding out. I'll be on my way then. Why is Wayne so surprised that you were in the army before, ain't you, Jason? Super command, no shit. Come on, this vision, we what do we not know? Okay, don't let me keep going from Eddie. Don't worry about us. Help will be here soon. Punch the living shit out of that guy. Those Kurtosh must be rushing to the salt sea and medics too. We finally got a little bit of uh, action because mostly of this part was only talking. Do you see the alert? Yeah, something happened in the contact rooms again. Must be another dope head. I pitied the guy singing him on. Was anyone hurt? Don't match the say. Just said told make it subdued by a nearby worker. A worker? For real? Do you know the guy, like, have a knife? Beats me. Yeah, he had a knife. Hey, I was looking for you. Huh? We heard about it, Jason. Why is so so green? Sorry to hear it, and this is only your first day. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Great. Did Wayne say something before you left? A knowledge. I will send the match out. Thank you. I need to make a few calls. Don't forget to clock out yourself out on your computer. Record the time that you stop work. No one else will do it, but today is a special case. And the secret office told me about it. She looks sadder. About what that man came here for. Or maybe you know it already. The officer who apprehended him told me that he's here to take revenge. His family died here at his farm during contribution and an accident. Multiple of them all died. Because I think you serve to know what a deplorable business you are in. You are entitled to know. Goodbye. Why did she say that? Isn't she in the same business herself? Hey, you're back. Uh, Mr. Dai, are you okay? I, I heard you knock that guy out all by yourself, and he's got a knife, awesome man. A professional, kick ass. Any idea why he did that? I thought he's just a psycho. There has to be a reason, I think. What do you say, Chaster? Thought so. Oh, uh, where's Lawrence? Why, why so urgent? What's wrong with Lawrence? He should be nearby the site when it happened. I asked him to cover my shift. 
What? It sounds okay, Jason. I got him to this. Don't say that, Tyler. You guys are still here? Chef, an idiot how Lawrence is doing? He was tired, almost passed out, blood loss, all tow. What? Calm down, the medics are taking care of him. He's in stable condition, relax. Why is this happening? Did you see what happened, Chef? Yeah, I witnessed the whole thing. That psych came out of the sign room, no one saw him. Actually, I think I did see him, but he didn't pay attention. If only I. Don't blame yourself, you couldn't have known. Then he pulled a knife out of nowhere and stabbed Lawrence in the back. I froze up, I wanted to help Lawrence, but I was too afraid to move. Lawrence turned around in a blinker and knocked his other knife. Yeah, he had you out of his hand and all run. Everyone froze for a sec, then started to run like hell. I was too close to the psych and didn't dare to turn my back, so I stayed. Then Wayne and Jason came out of another room and Jason took him down before I knew what was happening. Was anyone else hurt? I heard something from a medic, say the consultant died from another unit, don't know his name. Kill on spot in room A3, the room is sealed off by the police. Looks like the psych went bonkers mid-session and stabbed him, guy didn't even have time to call for help. I don't get it, why is this happening? The point is, how did he manage to bring a knife into the farm? The facility is specially designed with security in mind to keep us safe. We all know how safe it is outside. This installation zone around the farm is created for exactly that. Every single lingering thing waddling on into this farm is scanned from head to toe. If a knife can slip through, what if next time they sneak a gun? Huh? Not too hard to get an, a gun in the shit hole, you know? What are those surveillance cameras for? Huh? Logistics and me spent so much time servicing them. And what's the you for? Should only require all the contacts room? Let an outside hint just like that, huh? The fuck? Could be a software glitch, huh? Inefficient farm? Maker of the world cutting edge, i.e. Our state of the art system has a stupid glitch? Exactly. Actually, software glitch have been reported in all sorts of places across the farm. A security loophole is not unlikely. I'm one living example. So let's show me into the manager office more than once. What? Wait, if you knew about the glitch, why didn't you or anyone fix them? I would if I could. We ran it throughout the area and realized there is a deeper cause. Deeper cause? Kathy looks hesitant. Oops, we'll handle it. Damn, oops again, oops, no, it's not oops, it's oops again. Every single time, if this fan blows up, it's because they screwed up. Do they hate their job that much? This is so fucking stupid. Calm down, Quentin. When will hold them liable if it's their fault? All we can do is wait. I know, but Chase and Lawrence serve better. They'll only be here for days and look what already happened. Admire the tool, Chaster. Plus, the way you dealt with that guy. You see as uh, cool as a cucumber. Oh, you guys are not going home after everything that happened? Wayne who said how everything related to a uh, thing which I'm not part of, so. Chef. Ah, it's Mr. Liao. George looks very concerned. Are you alright? I heard about someone st stabbing people around where you were and. Slow down, chill, I'm okay. Watch your blood pressure. I'm not joking. Are you sure you're okay? Totally. Good, good, as long as you're okay, otherwise I can't face your mom when I die. So it's not that bad. Are you mentally okay? Tell me if you need a therapist. My boyfriend will take care of that. You just go home and rest, yeah? You mean your friend? I'll go home when I want to. Don't come too late. Home too late. You hear me? Yeah, chill. Hey, are you really, really okay? I say I'm okay. Great. I'll go help Wayne out. You feel anything wrong? You call me. I'm alright, alright. Call me. You hear me? Will do. Weirdo, why is he so worried? He's worried about you. He's uh, my de facto dad. My mother, older brother, he took me in after my parents died. Don't worry, it's all history. Okay, I'm off to work. A boyfriend's waiting. Go have a nice therapy session. Haha, <laughs> keep up the good work, guys. Bye, chef. Good for him. We have hours ahead of us. Not Tyler. Alright, ah, lucky boy, aren't you? I'm busy with work, okay? Am I involved? No. Good, I'm off to take a dump then. Ew, we didn't need to know. Get lost already. What's up? Now, I just wonder why this is happening. Didn't you chalk it up to software glitch? Ops are couldn't fix it. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm off to get coffee. See you guys around. Bye. Bye. Hey Jason, I see you are official of work, could you do me a favor if you don't mind? There's something I need help with, no stress, you could say no. Yes, first promise me, whatever I'm about to say you won't tell anyone. 
Good. There was an old lady when you were covering consultation sessions, right? Good. I'm investigating how she slipped through all our press screening measures. Someone must have helped her along the way, from passing reviews to forging alpha records. And this someone must be inside a colleague of ours. As for the reason, it has to be money. If they had money to bribe a farm insiders, would they bother with this contributor geek? They could have money on seeing it up, they get an advance. You've worked in the cottage room, surely you must have heard about it. I see. Now listen, Jason. Hunt is taking this very seriously. We have a problem if more people like Sinning Tongue show up at consultation. No matter how hard we try, we can't catch all of them. Even some some who aren't physically fit will slip into the cell and could die. It's even worse if they survive. Chances are they will bring their simili simil similarly unfit friends. Not that I'm aware of. Why? Yeah, it sounds unbelievable, but our automated screening system is quite awesome. Being the number one supplier of flops automation and I is vicious thing. Plenty of people have tried to cheat system, but none have found any success. Tongue's case is kind of a big deal. Is it a system glitch, like I said, or what? Anyway, what happened, happened. Our job now is to find out how. My plan is to narrow down the list of suspects first, but honestly, I have no idea where to start. Thought you might have advice to give. Any idea? Meaning they are close to each other, not just bribery, huh? This is important. If you can find anyone who had a personal relationship with Tongue, then we have pretty much solved the case. Yeah, let's begin with that. Anything else you can think of? No problem, we already have a solid lead to start with. Now we are officially part, so let me explain my overall schedule for this investigation. It's quite exciting. Listen, all contributor candidates must pass three checks to get a consultation session. The same applies to Tongue. My plan is to find out how she slipped through all the three checks. If we know how they did it, we can quickly narrow down the list of suspects. First, all candidates must submit a copy of their own profiles. The then, Vision Press Green System crawls the internet to collect everything there is to know about them. The system compares everything against records from the government, such as crimes, marriage, registration. I see you never work for a corporation of this size. Once a corporation is big enough, they gain access to everything, private information included. The government relies on big corps, either their money or tech, to govern this country. They are eager to make friends. You know what? Sometimes the government even begs us for information access. That's the first check. The second check is physical examination. Candidates must be accessed by clinics or hospitals appointed by vision. The result is then fed into the system for qualification. The final check is administrative approval. Each batch of candidates must be signed off by the vision lead, the managed secretary and the manager. Of course not, secretary and manager just sign everything off without looking. The division lead checks random profiles for inspection. Not our division lead, when I hardly reads any profile these days. I don't know, you could ask him later. The first checks are highly automated and reliable. Cheating is virtually impossible. Unless someone is feeding system correct information, but that's unlikely. Every entry of that is double check and triple check. You can just throw in a fabricated profile and call it a day. Or are we dealing with a group? Forget about it, let's see what we can find first. Let's begin now. I'll start from the first check on the date profiles. I'm more familiar with the system. You can try physical exam records. Ask Eddie for database access. She cares a lot about contributors. Think of something related to contributor well-being and she'll be totally by it. Don't let her know what you're doing. Can I trust you on this? Sure thing. Ha, ah, I knew you were the man. Let's get it sorted out before anything major happens. Ah, sorry. Yo losers, what are you guys talking about? Having a good time while I'm away, huh? We have a good time because you are away. Am I supposed to get jealous now? Hey Chaster, you are cool as the cucumber, right? But don't you ever steal my uh, best friend forever. Gah, this means war. Keep me out of it, you guys. Ha, <laughs> you want him, hey Chaster? Okay, tell is yours, you make kiss your BFF now. I'll just lick my wounds in my nest of pending work, sad face. Come on, dude. Alright. Hey, Jay, you all done with work? Shout out to Alfred about that in Counting Car. I don't want her worry at all. Yay, perfect time. Grant you all very task right now. See you in the lobby on first floor. No worry, take care of unfinished work if you have to. Come find me when you're ready. Then we go to the roof of the home and go home together. See you.
he love you too. Uh, but it say that uh, if. But yeah, I'm gonna stop here. Like uh, the game is cool, but uh, like uh, probably the best part only happens after all of this because you still have, uh, you know, you are still in the first day here working, right? And uh, doing some of these things, start uh, starting this stuff uh, st uh, that are happening. Uh, and uh, probably you need to progress a little bit more for sh uh, shit go down and uh, you start for, uh, doing some investigation fighting so yeah let me uh... Uh, at least I get uh, access to the thing. But yeah, like if you like this type of games, you know where uh, it takes time to to for things to start. You can buy the game on on Steam. I think it's only on Steam that came out. Uh, but it takes time to start to get the uh, shit because you have the beginning right uh, because uh, that part then uh, you play with this guy you where uh, after the work you're going to the roof with your uh, girlfriend that you can pick up the ring then and probably propose in there but then you have some let's say some side quests that you can uh, you can do or not it depends on you but uh, you know there's still a lot of things between uh, you going to the roof uh, be between when you are in home and going to the roof you have a lot of stuff to do and uh, you only now we got a little bit of the fight uh, to understand how the fight works you know so it takes a while for the probably the good shit to happen so yeah but you can buy the game on steam and try it out and uh, uh, see the story and all of that so but overall it's like it's cool but it's it takes too much time to start uh, to get better and better. So, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay of uh, Minds Beneath Us, and uh, see you guys next time.